in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Tonight I want to challenge our hearts. You know, I've, Monday is my birthday and I'm very happy about it. Thank you. Hallelujah. But I'm not happy because of the celebration. I, I, celebration is a weakness for me that I'm hoping that God will deliver me from. So if you are praying for me, I've given you a prayer point. Um, I can celebrate people, but once you start doing anything for me, I'm I'm not, I, I don't want to have to do anything. But I've been thinking of what to share. In fact, just the awareness that Monday is my birthday and what people may do already palpitates my heart. And I hate being in this kind of condition. I want to be myself just to lie down and sleep, pray if I need to. Um, but I, I thought through the week. Now listen very carefully. I ask myself a few questions. Why am I successful? Why is this ministry successful? Why the celebration? You only celebrate things that work. No one wants to be associated with a person or a thing that does not work. And while just thanking God, reflecting over my life, I just thought to share with us something that is truly the conviction in my heart I will continue to share with us truths that will build us and I'll continue to pray that God will help us to hear because many of us just keep our ears open but we really don't listen listening is not just with the ears with your spirit hallelujah praise the Lord By the way, I've been, I, re, I really have been thinking of what will happen on Monday because um, I won't call it disturbance. I, I love people, but I don't like um, ah, what's going to be the word now. So I was thinking probably we could just do maybe an evening service where I just come and teach you something. instead of instead of coming to listen my my greatest inspiration is not cake tea chicken how many of those can i eat it will, i will just give it out but if i'm able to do something that adds to your life then i think my day is worth celebrating and if you too can do something you must promise me that that Monday you will find something to do to someone that reflects the value that I would have done. If you can do that, then it's happy birthday for all, all of us. But if you are just strolling in the evening to come and receive, uh, but I think we should do that. Protocol, I think we can, we can make that happen. Okay, so we'll make that happen. We'll meet Monday by 6. Just gather everybody. And it'll be a brief service just to honor the lord have me teach you one or two things whatever cake you have just bring it no matter how many i will pray on it everybody will eat it and then we'll go back to our various homes but then i truly believe one of the things that i want to do is to pray for you to just speak over your life i hope that by now you know the value of speaking over someone's life it's not just um it's not asking god to do things is creating possibilities in your life hallelujah 
so for tonight let's pray and say father open my eyes open my eyes jesus open my eyes you are the fountain of life and it is in your light that we see light except you reveal to us oh god we cannot know except you show us we cannot see Except you guide us, we will not be accurate. Hallelujah. I'll share some more on Monday, but this word you see is the secret that makes men great. Every man is built by the word of God, not just the word of God that is read but the word of God that is revealed by the wisdom of the spirit and received and tonight I, I just want to talk along these lines and we'll just run through a few scriptures as I challenge you I, I truly hope that someone will be angry with your current situation whether spiritually or whatever dimension and trust that tonight's teaching will help build you let's start with John chapter 8 John chapter 8 and verse 32. John chapter 8 and verse 32. In fact, let's start from verse 30. We'll read from 30 to 32. 30 to 32. It says, as he spoke these words, this is Jesus now many believed on him 31 then said jesus to those jews which believed on him he said if you do what continue in my word then ye are my disciples indeed and then 32 says and ye shall know the truth you will know the truth by starting as you continue somewhere along the lines of your consistency you will encounter something remember the context is continuation not just starting to read not just a five minutes devotional not just a one month study it says if you continue in my word you are activating something that will cause you to eventually encounter the truth it says and if it is truth there is a character of truth it sets free meaning that if you claim to know the word and it still leaves you in bondage or in that situation then the truth of that word the final the uh, how, how do i how do i describe it now when the word of god is broken down the unit of it is truth the capacity to be set free from life's vicissitudes the capacity to not be under the limitations of life to rise by understanding and by the liberating power of truth he says if you continue meaning it will take a while he didn't lie to you he said if ye continue then you are my disciples then he says and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free ladies and gentlemen there are many people around the world with scriptures with books with tapes with teachings attending seminars and all of them will tell you they have the word all of them will tell you they have the truth but we do not see that liberating power of the truth in their lives not their spiritual lives not their finances not their ministries they remain in bondage in spite of their supposed encounter with the word something is wrong if it is truth that you meet the bible says the truth shall make you make you like i say make food for me the food is not there you are going to enter a kitchen and make it happen the bible says the truth if encountered can make what does not exist in your life it it never said the truth will bring you freedom there is no freedom anywhere like like if i tell you make jollof rice for me as at the time i was speaking there's no jollof rice you will search it and not find it but i said make it 
Are we together? Your intelligence can gather from any market and any location. The cow, the vegetables, and then combine them in a way that after a few hours, there you have plate. What you are looking for is freedom, but it's not available. And then the Bible says when you encounter the truth, the truth knows what forces to bring together. And then all of a sudden, something that did not exist will now exist. The truth shall make you free. Free from what? Free from poverty. Free from fear. Free from mediocrity. Are we together now? So the problem usually is that we may have encountered the word, but we have not encountered the truth. Let's talk about it. In John chapter 18, please give us verse 33 and we're reading to verse 38. Something happened between Pilate and Jesus. Please listen and learn. The Bible says, Pilate entered into the judgment hall again. Jesus is being judged now. And called Jesus and said unto him, Art thou the king of the Jews? Pilate was asking a question. Next verse. We're reading to 38. Jesus answered him, Sayest thou this thing of thyself, or did others tell it of thee? That means Pilate had an information. People were murmuring it outside. And he came in, he said, Are you a king looking like this, the king of the Jews? And then the next verse, Pilate answered, Am I a Jew? Thine own nation and the chief priests have delivered thee unto me. What hast thou done? 36. Jesus answered, listen, my kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now is my kingdom not from hence. 37. He said, Pilate therefore said unto him, art thou a king? Remember, this is a battle of reality and information. He's trying to verify something. Follow me closely. Thou sayest that I am a king. To this end was I born. For this cause came I into the world, that I should bear witness unto what? Talk to me, please. That I should be a testifier of the truth. Everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. So he's talking of truth now. Next verse. Pilate said unto him a question that people never ask. What is truth? notice the moment Pilate said what is truth Jesus said I am a testament of the truth immediately he said I find in him no fault in other words because you are the truth you qualify to be free if it is truth it always sets men free are you getting what I'm saying now so Jesus Pilate confessed that because you are a testifier of the truth there is no reason why you should be in this situation when truth shows up, no matter what it is, it must let you go. Jesus' remaining there was because of his love for us. But Pilate said before all, he said, I find no fault in the truth. That's the same way poverty can say, I find no fault. The truth has come. I must give way. This has come. I must give way. When the Lord opened my eyes to this scripture, I said, my goodness everywhere Jesus went that was a system of oppression it couldn't hold him for long because he was truth are we together they held him before a cliff he came out there was scarcity around the truth and the truth said no it shouldn't be and all of a sudden multiplication came because the truth was there are you getting what I'm saying now listen very carefully Everywhere the truth went, the ministry of that truth was to liberate, was to set free. When he got into your house, no matter what it was, that truth made men free. He went to the house of Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus, come down. I'm coming to your house. And within minutes, because Zacchaeus hosted the truth, he was free. And thou shalt know the truth. If you ever host the truth, then the truth must make you free. Very powerful revelation. That means if we remain in bondage, the issue is not just Satan. 
The issue is that we may have been receiving scripture and Bible study, but the truth has not come. Because when the truth comes, the Bible says it makes you free. It fabricates freedom from wherever and ministers it to you. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Many people keep bragging around with their acquisition of scriptures and their criming of scriptures and their participating in teachings. Listen carefully. The truth is not just a right information. There are many right informations that are not the truth. You have to understand this. You only say an information is correct based on a reference. Unfortunately, the reference itself can be wrong. Are we together now? There is something that science, science has pieced together a body of facts. And whoever aligns with that body of fact with respect to science is walking in the version of the truth. Is that true? But science itself must be vetted by someone higher than it. Are you getting what I'm saying? Culturally speaking, there, are, there is a system of understanding and behavior built by culture. And to the degree to which you align with it, we say you are walking in the truth. So there is a lot of relativity when it has to do with the subject of truth. What is permissible to a person and within a context may not be permissible to another person within another context. But here's what Jesus said, I am the way, I am the the truth not a truth the truth that means i am the ultimate system of freedom and liberation an encounter with the truth makes men free if you claim to have knowledge of the word of god if you claim to have found something you think is true and it does not produce the requisite freedom then it is not the truth it may be something else. It may be a well-meaning information that is correct based on a historical system of agreement. They have agreed that whoever does it this way. I give you an instance. In our world today, if a woman just looks at herself and says, I want to get pregnant without a man, that is not true as far as the educated opinion of men is concerned. Is that true? But when the truth was ready to find expression, there was a system that was created that would have been told a lie by science. Be careful what you call true and false. There must be a reference because with respect to God, there are some things that are agreed as true by men. But then when it comes to God, God says, no way. Lazarus died. That was the truth. Based on what doctors like David and his colleagues would say, they had checked him and there was no pulse. It was over. But when the truth came, he said, what did you say? Three days, roll away the stone. This is the truth. If it is the truth, he sets men free. Are we together? They buried the truth and covered it in a grave. After three days, the grave opened and the truth came out. If it is truth, then it must set free. The question is, why are we still helplessly under so much bondage we pray we fast we sleep on our bibles we quote bibles we listen to tapes yet it looks like our situation is not even scared of our spiritual investments could it be that we are not encountering the truth even before Pilate, the proof the truth prevailed the moment jesus said look leave the issue of king i am truth Pilate said what is truth and he said this man is free i may not understand what truth is but i'm a victim of the effect of that truth i must let you go i must let you go 
what if you knew the truth about your life and destiny what if you knew the truth that you were not a victim of situations and circumstances what if what they told you about your upbringing was a lie it was culturally true but from the reference of God is a lie what if your past and what he told you were a lie with respect to God a lie is not a wrong information a lie is any information that was not brought from God it's a lie it doesn't matter how right it is if it did not originate from God then it's not true The Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 7. 2 Timothy, when you read from verse 3 and verse, uh, chapter 3 and verse 7, the Bible talks about this group of people, zealous people like we are. It says that they are ever learning. Please look up. Ever learning, but never able. Learning does not guarantee an encounter with truth. That you are sitting with a Bible does not mean you are encountering truth. That you are sitting with a tape did you hear the testimony of the dear lady who was listening to the seven days um, prayer and fasting? She said she had been listening to it. Just because you started the tape, started and finished with your ear hearing it does not mean you can counter the truth. She said at that point, a prayer came and light opened. And all of a sudden she received. And the results showed immediately. A friend that had no business helping her. That's the truth making a way now. The truth always makes a way. Don't leave no uncle nonsense. You don't need. Once the truth comes, the truth will find a way around it. Because the truth is not just an information. The truth is also a person. So when the truth comes into the womb of a barren woman, what happens? The truth starts making a way. It finds out what is the issue first. And they say, ah, this woman has no womb. And the truth said, there is still a way. There is still a way. Prophesy to yourself and say, there is still a way. Look at the challenges that stand before you. That you cannot see a way does not mean there is no way. Just stop looking for a way. Let truth come. Truth knows where the way is. Ah! You move mountains. You cause walls to fall. With your power, you perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. And I'm standing here only because you made. Sit down, let me tell you. There is no uncle anywhere who is going to help you. There is no... A, an uncle only helps when the truth makes him part of the actors of your breakthrough. Nobody just comes because he knows you. Ye shall know the truth. Many of us are trying to find ways and methods. Whereas the secret is to stay until the truth comes. When the truth comes, light must come. Let me show you something. Let me show you something that will bless you. What's, what's, the, what's the scripture now? Help me, Holy Spirit. Um, Isaiah 29. Isaiah 29. Give us from verse 11 and 12. Isaiah 29, verse 11 and 12. Let me show you that just because you have a book called the Bible in your hand does not mean you have access to truth. Read it with me. He said, and the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed. It did one that is what? Learned, saying read this I pray thee and he said I cannot not because I can't open it it is sealed sealed next verse <laughs> and the book is delivered to him that is not learned saying read this I pray thee and he said I am not learned both the educated and the uneducated stand helpless in the presence of this book. Where is the key? How do men read it? I thought by being learned, I will automatically understand it. This is not science. The book is sealed. There is a spirit with the key that opens it. Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word. 
sealed. I told you everything glorious is what? Covered. No glorious thing is revealed. You don't buy a product without a package. So your destiny is there but it is sealed. Going to school is very important but when it comes to the matters of the spirit, my brother, my sister, don't let the pride of education make a fool of your destiny. That's why we have many intellectuals who brag and say, what is God? A can become C and they are trying to make C out of A forever. Whereas the maker is truth. A foolish man can come with his foolishness and sincerity and say, Lord, I, I can't amount to much. My life, you see, is a testament of this. They are life to those who find them. When you find it, it looks like a charm. It's impossible for life to keep you down. This is not some bragging. No, if it is the truth, if you ever see a mountain start laughing, there must be a way. There must be a way. Pilate looked at Jesus and said, if you are a witness of the truth, then I find no fault. I let you go. Are you learning something tonight? It's not just opening the Bible and then reading, oh, James chapter this, the Bible said this, in the name of Jesus, I will never be. That's, that's just, that's, that's scripture. You are just playing games. Many of us keep flattering ourselves for many years, thinking, I'm not saying reading your Bible is not important. I have found the missing key why many well-meaning believers don't get results. They are not lazy. They are more serious than even some of us pastors. Take laziness out of the equation. Why is life hard for many people? What is the mystery of this hardship? Close heavens everywhere. No help, failure, pain. There is a, an explanation. The book that you have been reading is sealed. That you got a message from me to preach does not mean it has been open to you. No, sir. Have you ever opened a scripture and then you are reading, you've been reading it and all of a sudden you see something there that you never saw and then you can mark that day and say something shifted. That, that portion of scripture was open to you. I remember studying about the anointing for many years. I read books and books. A lot of people got their revelation from Good Morning Holy Spirit. You've never had me mention it. Because I didn't get anything from it. I read it. Good morning, Holy Spirit. I was blessed, but I didn't see anything there. And I just stayed. If you continue, that's the key. And then one day, the portals, when it opens, it is open. When Jesus stood for to read in the temple, the Bible says they brought to him the scroll of Isaiah. It was open. And he said, this day, you have been reading it and thinking it's some prophet somewhere, but I am the manifestation of this. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you this. If we don't get serious with our lives to find truth, we are going to keep convincing ourselves and jumping around, quoting scriptures that for a very long time, our lives will not capture the levels of freedom that befits one who claims to have that knowledge of truth. I know many wonderful, lovely men and women of God struggling around in ministry, sincere. They won't steal nothing. They won't do anything. Notice that both the learned and the unlearned are still victims of the same thing. So what is the key? I will show you. <laughs> ah, I will show you. Ephesians chapter 3. Ephesians chapter 3. We're going to read from verse 1 to 5. Note this. You know, 
there are many people who keep talking word of God, word of God, word of God. I, I don't have a problem with it. It is true. But we are missing something very vital. Vital. The book by itself is sealed. You will only read a, you will read stories from it. For this cause, I, Paul, a prisoner of Jesus Christ for you Gentiles. Uh-huh. If ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God, which is given me to you, word. What is the grace? How that what? Uh-huh. He made. Stop. He made. I didn't learn it. How that by revelation. He made. Who is the he? Someone came to me and opened the book. He made known unto me the mystery as I wrote afore in few words. Verse 4. Whereby when ye read, when ye read, ye may understand my knowledge. The basis of what you are reading is not just that I wrote. Someone came and opened something to me and I want to help you too. Because if all you do is to just read, you will not find anything. It says, when you read, you may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ. Verse 5. Which others, which in other ages was not made known. So this thing is made known. It's not studied. It's made known. It's like occult. It is made known. If it has not been made known, my brother, my sister, let me tell you, you will fast and pray and never find it. It is made known. A man can receive nothing except it is given. This is how we rest in the kingdom. We keep struggling and thinking it's just by all of these things. No. Your press and then he comes to make it known. If God does not make it known, you will never find it. It is so obvious, yet you will look and look and never find it. It says, which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men, as it is now revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by who is the he? Talk to me, who is the he? So the he comes to you and says, this book cannot open except I am there. The book can give you the word, but the spirit can show you the truth. You need truth. That's what you need. You don't just need word like word like that. When you say this, many believers think you are encouraging people to not be serious about the word of God. Let me tell you in all honesty, I doubt, I, I doubt if I've seen any man that is more passionate about the word of God than me. There may be, but I've not seen one. But I found out that your life is going to be a chronicle of frustrations if you don't understand how truth comes out of the word. It says, which in other ages was not made known to the sons of men as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets. Jeremiah 33, please, and verse 3. Help us, media. Jeremiah chapter 33. Please read with me, Koinonia is projected inside and outside. One to go. Uh-huh. Stop. I will what? I will what? I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Doesn't matter how long you've been studying it. He said you don't know it. That's why the results are not speaking. But when you call on to me, I will answer and the answer is that I will come and I will show you. Brothers and sisters, listen to me. We have ignored the Holy Spirit and carried Bibles all around, hoping that just by reading it intellectually, we'll be able to put A and B together. And the Bible tells us that the mysteries in this book are sealed. That's why they are called mysteries. When you read the Bible, outside of the ministry of the Holy Spirit, all you will see is potentials for possibilities. You will keep seeing them, but your life will never, never experience them. One of the greatest secrets in my life is the ability to allow the Holy Spirit to open up scripture, open up scripture, 
open up scripture john chapter 16 please we'll begin our reading from verse 12 john chapter 16 we'll begin our reading from verse 12 read with me please one to read i have yet many things to say unto you but ye cannot bear them now why because you are natural and these things are spiritually discerned are we together verse 13 how be it when he the what the spirit of truth not just the holy ghost the spirit of truth is come what will he do please talk to me he will guide you through the book he will guide you into all truth for he shall not speak of himself but whatsoever he shall hear that shall he speak and he will show you things to come he will show you and you seen it all through scripture people are shown things people are shown things if you are not shown anything you will continue bragging around with scripture and never have results your assignment is not just to sit down and read your bible religiously your assignment is among other things to cry for the manifestation of the spirit of truth all scripture was inspired by him he knows the codes that are enshrined in this book but it is sealed it will take hunger to cry for him but brothers and sisters when he comes and opens it to you you and all others will stand in awe of your destiny this is the mystery behind great men this is the mystery behind great destinies a spirit came to them and showed them things whether it is in the occult or in the faith life nobody rises without being shown things he must show you and i was taken in the spirit ezekiel and i was shown this what have you been shown or what have you been reading you have been reading in the name of jesus i will never be poor you have been reading he owns the cattle on a thousand hills you have been quoting it you have been doing everything but you are just reading potentials it is sealed when the spirit comes he will not quote the scripture he will show you the quote in the scripture when the holy spirit comes he will not tell you no 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 he will show you something that may not make sense for another person there's something god showed me about the anointing there's something god showed me about growth there's something god showed me about victory there's something god showed me on how to deal with enemies whatever is not shown you becomes the gate to your destruction you have to find out what you have not seen and cry with all your heart and say lord show me let me tell you how you know you have not sh shown you whenever you do what is supposed to be the obvious solution and it does not work then it means there is more there is more apostle i, I pay my tithe apostle i give apostle i'm a sincere man of god i study my bible all doors are closed there is something that has not been shown you let me use the example of our dear pastor did you think that all the people that rose up for him just came to asaba in the last two months were they always there so what happened why was the climate harsh over him look how well meaning he is i've been to his meeting once an adorable man of god and his wife it's amazing how life does not give the excuse for you being sincere it doesn't say you are sincere and then no sincerity is not the seed for greatness you can be as sincere as possible and find out that you are a victim of everything bad you know pastors come to me and they say apostle i can stand before god and tell you i love god with all my heart i say i'm a man of god if you are lying i will tell you and then they now say apostle but why is life treating me this way like i told you was it last week or the week before last i begin to nod my head in pain because i know that um the solution is not just to pray there is something that they don't know and my brother my sister until this book is open to you and your eyes see 
your destiny will remain small. We are all gathered today now, scattered across, inside and outside, and those following online, because God showed a man something. Your generation is dependent on what you see. They are, they are waiting earnestly to say, man of God, what has God shown you that you can bring to the table? If all you are taking to destiny is your degree, get set for a big shock. If all you are taking is just your sincere heart, get set for another shock. If all you are taking is your uncles that you know, my uncle somewhere, my auntie somewhere, no. I don't study the Bible to crime scriptures or to preach. I search for light. I search for truth. There are very few people who ever know how I study the Bible. Because if I teach you, it will frustrate you. I can stay on a scripture for a long time because there is something I'm searching. God can show me like a code. I can see half of the truth and see the other part two years later. And until I see it, I will wait. But when that code comes, pack, 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 the seals are open and the results follow. No devil stops it. When, when the seal is broken and open, then your life will be a wonder even to you. <laughs> Favor is here, but is sealed. There is a mystery to it. The anointing, there is a mystery. The helpers of your destiny are here. The problem is not the book. The problem is that it is sealed. When you are not aware that the book is sealed, then you are in trouble. Because you will continue to read. How many churches have continued to read this every Sunday? Sunday after Sunday. But there is no one to come to testify that this is what God has done. Please hear me. I want you to learn. Some of you, it will take years to understand what I'm sharing with you. As simple as it sounds. Your goodness is real. I testify. Your goodness is real. Your favor is real. I testify. Your favor is real. Your power is real. I testify. When the Lord gave me the revelation on the body of Christ, let me tell you this. I didn't read it in any book. I remember lying down like a child when the Lord came with this scripture. For this cause, the Lord began to teach me that there are four encounters. The Son, the Spirit, the Word, and the body. And that the reason why many people never rise in life is because they've had the three encounters, but not the body. I said, so there is something called an encounter with the body. And my life changed. Every true apostle of the Lord must deliver a mystery to a generation. There must be something God gives you by the Spirit. This is not just Bible study. It is that he comes to you. He doesn't come to me every time, but he comes. I remember when God was delivering to me the secret of church growth. I read. I study. I've studied Young Gicho's materials. Studied Bishop Oyedepo's materials. But here he comes. The code for your own destiny given to you. That someone else will do and will not work for him. Because it was open for you. That's why you see people doing things that should not work, but it works. Hmm. I'm doing my best to try to explain this thing to you. Sometimes it's very difficult to understand, to explain spiritual things. All you see is the result that follows, but behind those results are strange encounters that work together. And they make a way. They make a way. Brothers and sisters, look at me. I love you. That's why I'm teaching this. I can come and just talk to you and we laugh and joke. I am so passionate about your results. And the way many of us are going about it, you will never find it that way. I'm telling you this. I'm saving your life from frustration. So that you will not jump like others have done for many years. And then one day you will find out they are not even in the faith. And they say, don't bring any Jesus talk. I've tried him. It doesn't work. 
you only tried scripture when you tried the truth sit back and watch it make a way strange ways in the wilderness ways that should not be there the truth will cut away out of a rock the truth will cut away out of a river and you will cross and they will look back and not be able to find the way again and they'll say hey jimmy what way did you follow and you say i don't know the truth just made a way the egyptians tried to trace the way that the truth made for the israelites they couldn't find it they drowned the song of miriam i will sing unto the lord for he has triumphed gloriously even the horses and the rider has been thrown the same way somebody passes is the same way that kills another person because it has to be a way made by the truth for you someone can do a business that lifts him and you do a business the one that kills you because he's sealed it was not open for you someone can use the same word you are speaking to get favor you will use it and get destruction because you are just speaking light of the world you step down into darkness open my hands let me see light of the world you step down into darkness open my eyes let me see sing it one more time you're the light of the world you step down open my eyes let me see listen when you are not filled with the holy spirit you are in a position where you will remain in darkness forever jesus himself told us why he sent us the spirit of truth not just to pray gibberish in tongues no the holy ghost was sent to us not to make us men of god the Holy Ghost was sent to us not to make us pastors. The Holy Ghost was sent as the opener of the sealed book to guide you into all truth. The book is there, but it must be opened by the wisdom and the intelligence of one who is not human. He made known unto me. He made known unto me. He made known unto me. First Corinthians chapter 2. Please give it to us. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 12. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 12. Read with me please. Everyone is projected. Just read and then you write it down. One, two, read. Uh-huh. Not the spirit of the world. Stop. In any case, you must receive a spirit. So there is the spirit of the world that inspires men and opens codes for men based on the laws of life and they can manipulate it and get some results and god is saying so that when you are inspired you don't think it's the same thing that inspired someone somewhere there are two spirits there is the spirit of the world a man tells you he was just sitting down and he made a discovery it's a lie nobody makes a discovery a spirit comes to you and opens up a portal of a reality and then you quickly scrabble it and walk around it and the whole world marvels and they call you albert einstein and they call you michael faraday and they call you the Wright brothers the bible is saying there is no such thing as just a human invention by yourself it's not true a spirit must come to you and open up what is sealed but the spirit which is of god why that we may know the things that are freely given to us of God. There are things that are freely given. So says the book. But the spirit of God, the spirit of truth comes and opens you. So that you will now comprehend. And then you walk in the reality, the light of it. And my brother, my sister, your life will suddenly change in a way and manner. Your family members will look at you and say, what charm? What did you touch? Look at this. Come promise. If by next week, promise suddenly enters a dimension of the anointing 
a dimension of revelation and let's assume five jeeps come from different people around the world and is parked in front of his house nobody will say promise so you are this hard working someone will call and say promise come where did you go to who did you meet we know that the arm of flesh cannot produce that result who assisted you just tell me and he'll say well it's a long story are you ready to do i say i'm ready now it's okay meet me by 11 30. let's go to one corner somewhere so everyone knows you would be you would be unwise to see what god is doing through my life and this ministry and believe it's just hard work no no what more do you need to see to convince you no man can do these things except a spirit be with him with god all things are possible without him on your own there are things that are not possible many of us have been fighting alone do listen to what i'm telling you and you will watch your life change in a way that will surprise you i kept thinking about this and i said lord look at what you've done with my life all because i saw the holy ghost and i said holy spirit i am weak i am dull in myself i'm not condemning myself is the truth I am ignorant I may not even have the strength but if for any reason you can hold my hand I am available just that one decision turned my life around I shared with you about my dream and vision you will get it in different messages I can't remember when I preached exactly that I saw a whole generation of people crying and they were saying there was no food no water and I wanted to go and rescue them but I was weak in myself but then I was determined to go out the moment I stepped out there was a giant mighty man he just held my hands and said let's go and if our God is for us then help me stop us and if our God is with us then against sing one more time and if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then we we'll prophesy to yourself. There is nothing that can be done about a man who the Holy Ghost has held his hand. Nothing. It's too late. Once the Holy Ghost holds your hand and says, let's go, you will climb mountains and walk through valleys. When the door settles, you are still standing. And you will say to you, be all the glory. And men will say, how are you doing it? It's not by charms. It's not by brain work. This is not A plus B. No. You see that I treasure the Holy Spirit so much. To a point that many people just say, oh, this, this, this spirit thing is too much. Just focus on the word. You keep doing it that way and see whether your destiny will be open. I believe in the word, but the word is useless until the spirit breathes upon it. He is the one who gives life to the word. The first, the first person of the Godhead revealed was him, not the word. The word came after he was revealed. In the beginning, look at the order. God created the heavens and the earth. We didn't have an opportunity to see how that happened. In verse 2, there was darkness. Then the first of the Godhead. If he was the first in the creation of earth, he must be the first in your life too. He's showing you how to come out of chaos. Many of us just stand religiously. Acts chapter this, John chapter this, and we keep jumping around. And the Holy Spirit says, no, it is sealed. That's why an unbeliever will carry the Bible. And all he will see is a compendium of controversies. You will see things that don't add up in scripture. God saying this one, 
and God saying another thing and saying, uh uh, God says he doesn't lie. See how many lies he made because you are reading what is sealed. But when the spirit of truth comes, he will open your eyes. Others are looking, but you are seeing. All of a sudden, you will see something others are not seeing. And then you will walk in a dimension they are not working in. I cry to God and say, Lord, this man is a weak man. You have to help me. And the Lord said, he will help me. And all of a sudden, my life changed. I'm introducing to you, not just a book, you have it. I'm introducing to you, not just tongues, you can pray in tongues. I'm introducing to you, not just God in you, you have him in you. I'm introducing to you what Young Cho will call Holy Spirit, my senior partner. If anyone ever tells you what is the secret behind apostle's life if you say prayer you are lying if you say bible study you are lying if you say worship you are lying if you say sacrifice you are lying all of those are secrets the greatest secret is that a weak man holds a strong god who makes that weak man a strong man that's what god can do that's what god can do the treasure that is in earthen vessel but held by a superior power that no force no cause no witch no devil can stop he told joshua no man will be able to stand against you all the days of your life brothers and sisters don't you see it? you have been trying in the flesh you have been doing oh i i think if i if i buy one golf now and i do this and i understand this and that investment i will rise and the holy ghost just stands back and watches the ignorance and you, I, I know let me just get one golf i will be getting ten ten thousand every week i'm a smart businessman then if i get another job in the bank as you are calculating it i'm not saying those things are useless but here he stands the gentle spirit watching your ignorance and your pride punish you how can you walk when you don't know the way of the way? How can you run when you don't know the way of the Spirit? How can you fly when you don't know the way of the wind? Power at work in you, change. Swallow your pride tonight. Come to the school of the spirit. Don't you know in his hands are the keys to eternal life? It's a little here, a little yeah. Until your day will is at work in you, change. Holy Ghost, you're the Holy Ghost, Spirit of the Living God. Hey, you're the Holy Ghost, Center of the King of Kings. You're the Holy Ghost, Seal of the Age to come. You're changing. That's the secret no matter how dull you think you are no matter what village let them laugh at you while you walk many people laughed at me years ago for holding his hands they laughed and today they bury their head in shame for holding my hand the Holy Ghost is not the president of a nation the Holy Ghost is not the CEO of a bank the one who turned chaos in Genesis 1 verse 2 to light holds your hand and someone laughs at you what pride when he held my hands I knew nothing about the anointing when he held my hands I knew I had no zero wisdom you were better than me when he held my hands I wasn't as smart as you but I was stupid enough to hold him and say no matter what it is I hold your hands I hold your hands. 
he will hold your hand as you go to the nations people will talk and say let's watch what will become of him and swallow their words after many years because there is a hand there is a grace he is the creative power behind this ministry the wisdom you see is not the wisdom of a man you will read books and read books and read books and be tired and never find it because it is a is sealed are we together sealed all of the things I do today about the anointing he taught me how could I have known how old am I aren't you seeing that what what is happening is more ancient ancient this is not the wisdom of a man Kadosh. Kadosh. you are mighty on for me to celebrate things like birthdays what what are you celebrating who are you really celebrating take him out of my life and the secret of a foolish man outside of him is revealed but when he stands with you thanks be to God who always causes us to triumph listen I say it again there is nothing you can do with a man that the Holy Ghost has held his hands. No, sir. No, sir. It's a grand formula for victory. When he came upon Jesus, he turned Jesus to Christos, the Christ. Jesus was just a carpenter's son. Just anyone on the street. But when the Holy Ghost came, the spirit of truth, the spirit of truth, when he comes to your business, he will change it in a way that will surprise you the spirit of truth when it comes to your ministry listen let me tell you this I never listen I never stop getting amazed at the formula people invent in hope that will work out whether for ministry or whatever I teach you principles here but principles will never replace presence principles only become useful when presence is intact god is not science listen oh brilliant people i may not be as smart as you and i beg your pardon but if it has to do with victory in this life someone must hold your hands and someone must show you the physical principle of fatherhood should teach us that you never rise alone someone must hold your hands and lift you we have ignored the Holy Spirit because of the embarrassment that follows walking with him. Oh, I tell you, there is big embarrassment walking with him because your way will not be the regular way of people because your life will not be within the context of others. But if you can be foolish to still stay and say, Holy Spirit, where will I go to? Jesus said, will you also go? And they said, to whom shall we go? You alone have the key. I 
have watched people mock God. I have, they have not mocked God by mocking God directly. They have mocked God by mocking his wisdom. Ah. There are people looking for anointing, reading books, getting all kinds of formula, do A plus B, add C to it, then the power of God will move. Let me tell you this. I say this by the authority of the kingdom, you are wasting your time. God is not a herbalist. It's only a herbalist you can receive charm from without a relationship. But when it comes to God, he will not show you power first. He will reveal himself. Moses wanted to see his glory. He said, no, 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 Moses. I am that I am. Let's, let's discuss first. Every promise God made to me, I have watched it come to pass. As at the time he said it, I never knew how it would happen. But God, when he speaks, be foolish enough to believe that Lord you are able. God is able to do strings just what he said he will do. He's got a force. not the Holy Ghost you are holding. Koinonia, hear me. I keep introducing him to you. Hold his hands and watch what he will make out of your life. Leave all the, the unwise people who keep mocking God. Just do A and B. C must happen. Who are you to make C happen? How old are you to make C happen? A plus B does not guarantee C in this life. The person to make C happen can die. But when God holds your hand, Anything plus anything can become anything. Doesn't make sense. Look at this. The dear pastor comes and all of a sudden a hand is laid on him. It's not a hand that is laid on him. It's more than a hand, my brother. If it's just laying on of hands, you go and do it. A hand is laid. He carries that possibility. Enters a land that was not favoring him. And all of a sudden, things start changing. I am a blessing to you and to the world today. Simply because of his ability to help me. Ebenezer is my testimony. I am a man who has been helped by God. Helped in every way by God. He said, if the Lord had not been on our side, now may Israel say, with the enemies that fool the world, with the enemies of the gospel, where do you stand when God does not hold your hand? The results that we now celebrate, glory be to God, but they are products of Him. Listen, if you think good preaching is what is going to give you influence forever, save Johnny. I wish you the best of luck. Go and search the Bible and search history and find people like Alexander Dewey who communicated mysteries that at the end of their lives they were almost committing suicide. Because even if knowledge abounds, they will cease. Knowledge will cease. All of these things will cease. But when you want to become indestructible in this life, hold his hands. And do what he tells you to do. And walk with him. Don't command him. 
and say, Holy Spirit, my boy, go and bring me money. That's what many of you are doing. Holy Spirit, my boy, go and bring me my wife. Go and bring me my husband. Go and bring me members. Go and bring me prosperity. And he says, when I came to you, was I a tenant or the landlord? The word of God, the Holy Ghost was given to us, among other things, to unseal this. For many years, I read my Bible. Did you know, for many years, there were times that I would not even read my Bible for a while. I would just carry the devotional, repent and read it. Do you know why many of you open the Bible and it wearies you? You are looking at it, but you are reading something that is sealed. That's why you cannot get life from it. You will open today, you don't know what to read. No, not when he's guiding you. Tonight we are going to pray. We are going to take serious time to pray. We are going to pray and embrace afresh his ministry in your life his person in your life he is the secret whether you are a businessman whether you are a husband you are a wife you are a man of god you are a woman of god the starting point of your victory is hinged on your passion and your love for him listen let me tell you this before we begin to pray listen to me carefully When I was writing the things that I now do, that the Holy Spirit was revealing to me, at a point in time, I just sat down and I said, Holy Spirit, you must be joking. Is this it? This foolish? I think I'm smart. The thing with God is, the Spirit of God is very gentle. The moment you begin to interrupt His wisdom with your I too know mentality, He just steps back. You do it your way. Go ahead and do it your way. Some things in our lives are not just an attack. It's us alone without him. Whether Satan was existing or not is the same trouble you would have. That is the natural consequence of ignoring him. I love him so much. Koinonia is built on intimacy with the Holy Spirit. He's the one who has given the word of God value. Look at what the messages are doing around the world. Do you think that is just because the message is so powerful? No. If he holds your hand, he holds your finances. He holds whatever comes from you. Someone called me the other day and said they were inside a taxi, a cab, and the cabman, every time he picks you, he, he, his own gift to you is that he will play one koinonia message. I don't know the cabman. And he just continued like that. There are people who have met angels who gave them koinonia messages. Not human beings. They entered meetings and gave them messages. I, I was I'm true to, to God. I don't share all these testimonies. I was told of someone who bought a memory card. New memory card. New. Brand new memory card. Slotted it in his phone. And all he saw was koinonia message. New memory card with seal. Seal. He opened it. I'm not lying to you a pastor from gambia a great a great man of god from gambia we spoke yesterday he said he was so depressed and he got to a point where he was washing plates in his house and he didn't know what to do and all of a sudden he said he, he just went on youtube and how he got across one teaching and as soon as he got that one teaching his life changed he said by next sunday the church changed and exploded he saw the manifestations of the spirit the word seeds were coming and he said who is this he introduced it to his wife the wife listened to the same message he did the wife didn't know the message he had listened to but she went to search on her own and listened to the same message you had the pastor that came last week from abuja just arriving here someone calls him to buy 300 shares it's not the work of a man no sir our parents are struggling now and suffering because they have embraced every other thing except him our our world is dying because we have ignored him don't join them 
don't join them to ignore him already your past the family background you came from is already a disadvantage on his own the only advantage in your life is him when you find him he will forget about your enemies forget about critics i'm telling you don't waste your time just leave all those things stay with him let him hold your hand my brother my sister and watch what he will do with your church and watch what he will do with your business and watch what he will do you may be crying while you are holding him i guarantee you the cry of pain will soon become the cry of joy you just hold his hands worship team hold his hands as you sing don't carry skill and a nice voice alone we live in a wicked world if all you carry is a nice voice you will not last one year human beings will suck you like an orange and throw you and look for the next happening thing but you remain fresh when you hold him impossible to be ignored impossible to be ignored he's gonna fulfill every My God is able. He truly is able. Listen. Look at me. In Nigeria today, an average young man cannot get established without some kind of bribe or some kind of thing. To have to corner and lie and do something. You want to walk in integrity and righteousness the environment is already hostile against you the fact that you name the name of christ alone is trouble for you they will hate you at your workplace hate you everywhere what then is your advantage your advantage is not just the miracles that he brings the advantage is him if you can hold his hands and say holy spirit i am weak i confess my ignorance i don't know so much i know that if i try to be established my way the church will never grow the influence will never grow but i submit to you you are the fountain of wisdom you are the spirit of truth open up to me and then the holy ghost will say all right you step back and then he will show you a b c and your life changes you will stand as shocked as those looking at you and just nod your head and say god what are you doing i hardly share my testimonies i had to minimize it because of wisdom and so that it can encourage people to rise there are things brothers and sisters if i tell you some of you will not sleep i myself the recipient of that testimony sometimes i wake up in the night and just sit on my bed and say lord what is this what is this you are the mighty god That song had been in my spirit for throughout last week. I don't know how to sing. You are going to sing that song. After it, we are going to take our time and pray. Help us, please. Jesus Take all 
for anything we are going to take our time and pray in the spirit one of the mysteries that we were given to accessing the mind of God is praying in the spirit I'd like you to take out time and just blast in tongues and pray seriously in the spirit lift your voice and begin to pray everywhere inside outside those online follow us as we pray Shikata <laughs> In the castle to Brigadia, Limo Sipa Sapa Paragada, Rico to Brigade Ligadaba, Sete Brigade Seke Paragada, Sipana Parate di Paragadosa, Ipanto Brigadesa, Lekatalabada Bagabate, In Proto Sipalate, Repata, In Brigade Nebata Paragadesa, Shabana Bagabana Bagabana Bagaba, Rete Ipata.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you. I want you to do a fresh handover ceremony and say, Lord, I come with everything, both what I think is wisdom and foolishness. I come in with my limitations and I come to you. You are the only one who can make meaning out of my life. I come to you. Lift your voice and pray and cry. Cry ah. for his presence in your life. Get tired of things not working in your life and cry for his wisdom. Cry for his wisdom. Cry for his wisdom. Cry for his wisdom. Cry for his Lord, I need you in my life. I need you in my life. I'm tired of making my decisions. I'm tired of making my I ask for your will. Come, 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 Lord Jesus. Come, Spirit of Truth. Come, Spirit of Truth. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Then the secret was revealed. Daniel did not find it. Then the secret was revealed. Then the secret was revealed. I don't know what area in your life you need to see the hand of God desperately. I like you to open your mouth and say, Lord, show me. There has to be a secret. Open up this scripture. Hey! Open up this scripture. custodian of truth. Show me. Show me. Show me. Show me the secret to the anointing. Show me to the secret to increase. The secret to ever increasing fire. The secret to spiritual power. The secret to influence. The secret to activating my destiny. Show me, O God. The book is sealed. Open my eyes. 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 What must I do to prosper? What must I do to rise? What is the key in the spirit? What is the key in the spirit? Listen, look up. When Jesus, watch this. When Jesus was transfigured, he showed us the secret to his transfiguration by the appearance of two men the law and the prophet not just the law of old testament that if you want to be transfigured the principles of the kingdom and the ministry of the prophetic standing side by side like moses and the prophet becomes your key to rising when jesus was transfigured we saw two men elijah did not appear enoch did not appear because they were not responsible they were not the spiritual mysteries the bible says that moses moses stood on one side and elijah i meant to say sorry 
Ezekiel and other prophets did not appear. Elijah was standing representing the prophetic. Moses was representing the law. And he said the book that contains those laws, don't let it depart. He's showing you how to succeed. Jesus did not just rise like that. The law, not just the law of the Old Testament, the precepts of God. You can have all the principles, but there is no prophetic voice and you remain there. No glory. You can do something that should prosper because there is obedience to principles, but there is no voice. It's like ingredients. If you have rice, you don't need as much tomato as you need rice. But don't put the tomato and see. You can't say you have jollof rice because of that small tomato, including salt. Sometimes you, you need one mutu of rice and then a few spoons of salt. But you refuse to put that salt and see how it will mess up the whole food. Something you may be missing because your eyes have not been opened. You've done everything but the last key to just strike it and open it. That's what I keep doing all the time. That's what I keep doing all the time. When I speak over your life, I'm not repeating myself. When I speak over your life, I'm standing to fulfill all righteousness in the spirit by the wisdom of the spirit. I've taught you that Jesus walked under a closed heaven for 30 years as the word of God until a prophet came to his life and spoke and baptized him immersed him and his heavens were open if jesus operated and opened heavens for 30 years till he met john the baptist in the spirit and power of elijah your destiny will close almost forever until there is a voice listen listen i want you to get to a point in your life where you no longer fight spiritual realities the earlier you learn this the better for you do it before you start having children do it before it gets too bad because darkness for sure is covering the earth and cross darkness the people but upon you the glory of god will continue to arise it's not just because you are a man of god we trade secrets in this kingdom to stand and one of it is the Holy Spirit holding you but not just holding you opening to you the mysteries of the kingdom continue to read your Bible but don't think you will find it just by reading you will get to a point where he will give you the eyes to see they are life to those who find them that means he's missing no until he opens it to you I found certain things in my life. It was Bishop Oyedepo that shared with us that he found the key to kingdom prosperity. And he spinned round and shouted, Yay, I can never be poor. I'm sure people laughed at him. But you found it. If you found it, you found it. I want you to succeed. I want you to excel. I'm showing you the precepts of the kingdom. Listen, take luck out of it. Don't call what you don't understand luck. That's arrogance. There is a very serious dynamic working that you are not aware does not mean nothing is being engaged. You will see what will begin to happen to your life shortly. When men say, why is it happening like this? Don't lie that you don't know what you did. Yes, it is, it is the Lord's doing. That's why it is marvelous. A man's doing cannot be marvelous in your eyes. A man's doing is natural. That's why I don't clap for you for walking. Because it's a man's doing. Men walk naturally, born again or not. But there are results that when we see, we know that this one is the finger of God. Rabbi, we know that thou art a man sent from God. For no man can do this except god be with him it's a message i want you to carry to everyone you love 
Jesus said, come on to me. Are you seeing now? Come on. He, 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 does not wisdom cry? Come on to me. Why will you continue to suffer and struggle? Listen, I'm bringing us to a point where we fulfill Proverbs chapter 3 from verse 5 to 7. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not. He's giving you a word of caution. Oh wise man, lean not on your own understanding. He says in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. He said, be not wise in your own understanding, verse 7. He said, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. It is because we are wise in our own understanding. If God does not lead me, I don't have where to go. I don't trust what I can do. I will mislead people with my ignorance. But when he comes, you can dare the unbearable. You can stand and look at Goliath and say, Goliath, you come against me with your bows and your spheres but i come against you in the name of the lord god the captain of the host of heaven whom you have defied and goliath you don't mind him while he's talking am i a dog that you are coming with a sling say just keep watching it's the same way god can give you an instruction by the holy ghost you've been dancing all the time but the holy ghost will wake you by two and say just dance to 2 30. it's not the ordinary dance you just finished dancing that dance will give you twins that dance will give you an estate and if people ask you how did you get it you say i dance they say please don't turn us into idiots how did you get it i know you did all those church things i said well, should i lie i'm telling you how i did it the mysteries of the kingdom the mysteries of the kingdom the mysteries of the kingdom I want to release my faith with you in one minute i want you to be sensitive to from today till sunday but i want you to ask the lord for three major things that you want to see done in your life things that don't ask for small things carnal things ask for something that is destiny shifting ask for something that that is able you know elisha had no business Gehazi had no business ha having his eyes open. But when he was close to Elisha the prophet, he said, I'm not seeing what you are seeing. And he said, okay, let me make your eyes see. He didn't say just, mm, take advantage of my spiritual climate and see what I'm seeing. A man came in the midst of Samuel where a prophet was. And all of a sudden the hand of God was upon him. He prophesied naked from morning till night. Not because he had been praying and fasting. People have prophetic implications. Everybody walks with the spiritual climate that they carry. I want you to be humble enough to pray and ask God. Some of you is your family. You are crying for an intervention that must step in. I'm going to give you the next. Let's use the next five minutes. I truly am going to be interceding for you. I'm not praying for myself. I just want you to pray and agree. Lift your voice and pray. Don't let the devil tell you you are wasting your time. Go ahead and pray. Hallelujah. Listen. You are going to pray, but many of you, I, I'm, you're not, you're not, it's not the zest of prayer. Let me tell you something. They met the disciples of Jesus and said, why don't these guys fast? We are fasting and these guys are eating. Yet they are getting the results we are not getting. And Jesus said, for as long as the bridegroom is there. So there is something the presence of the bridegroom can do. There is an advantage you can take. The bridegroom is the one who the marriage feast is for. Are we together now? The covenant of the marriage is with the bridegroom. But because you are supporting through a covenant of alignment, he's saying there are some things that you may not need to do when the bridegroom is not there. In other words, I'm not ignoring that principle. It is what you should have done except for the fact that another presence was introduced that can immune you from it. I needed to share that scripture just to help you. 
There are some things that ordinarily, that's the way you are supposed to do. But God brings men to your life that you can take advantage of and expedite your journey. Ordinarily, the disciples were to fast. Jesus said, I'm not fighting fasting. They will fast one day. But for now, as long as I am here, uh -uh. there are people that when you are around, I know people that just because you are around them, you may never read any book on finances. I'm telling you sincerely. Except you just want to add to your knowledge. The least, the, their, their greediest state is still higher than your greatest dream. Their presence. If you meet Prince Charles and Prince Harry and say, I just got you a book on five levels of wealth. He will congratulate you for being that courageous to enter the Buckingham Palace and say, walk out of this place. Do you know why? Because as long as they are in the palace, if they are out of the palace, they will do a lot of reading. But as long as they are in the palace, I teach you mysteries. Always find out what advantage you have based on who you are connected to. Not just God alone. There are some things you are doing that if you have knowledge, you should not be doing. You should have, others may be doing it. If I'm a pastor in living faith today, I, there are some things I should not do. If I'm a pastor in MFM today and I have problem with my prayer life, I think something is wrong. There is a grace I should drink from freely. If I'm not a pastor in that place, I may need to dissipate some energy. But when God calls men, he calls men with certain possibilities. And when you come within that covering, that thing should work for you. I keep drumming this thing, but many people don't get it. It's true. It's true. Find out those who are genuinely connected to this anointing. There are things they, before they even learned the principle, the result was already speaking. It's true. As long as the bridegroom is there, you are immune. When the bridegroom leaves, so you can learn the principle so that you are not just dependent helplessly on the bridegroom. But you can take advantage of the presence of the bridegroom. You can carry a handkerchief from Benny Hinn and put in your pocket and enter a meeting and be surprised yourself at what is happening. Simply because you made contact. Do you not see that God will be wicked to allow you pray for everything? No. No. I don't pray for everything in my life. There are things that you can get. Jacob and Esau, those two guys, they were not praying for the blessing. They were connected to a lineage that had it. The father didn't say, okay, you guys, he said, just go and make me venison. Let me release something on you. Look at this. Esau did not receive the blessing, yet see the prosperity that came. The fact that he came out physically, that's why Ishmael today Will the residue of that prophecy must always follow him? There are things that should happen in your life, my brother, my sister. There are some things that God has done for you already. Walking, trying to save yourself from sin by your strength is unnecessary. It was done by those who the bridegroom did not come for. So they use the blood of bulls. But now Christ has come and that sacrifice that you just receive. That's the same way there are other things that has been done. He gave gifts to men to ease their journey. There are things in life. Are you ready to pray? Our time is gone. I want you to open your mouth and pray. Pray. unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come the Bible says he that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet he shall receive a prophet's reward he that receives a righteous man in the name of a righteous man he shall receive a righteous man's reward Pray. 
Shapakoto Sopra Takashubi Adabalaba. The Bible says, May the Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. Send thee help from Zion. Abalado Sadebakatoshe Adabalakotia. For this cause, many are weak. For this cause, many are sick. For this cause, many do sleep. For this cause, many are weak. For this cause, many are sick. For this cause, many do sleep. Pray believing. Pray believing. Who are down mountain before Zerubbabel? Who are down mountain before this man of God? Who are down mountain before this woman of God? Who are down mountain before this family? Who are down mountain before this business? Who are down mountain? Hallelujah. Jesus looked at Peter and said, Peter, Satan desired to sift you like wheat. But he said, but I have prayed for you. If he could pray for himself on that issue, Jesus would not need to pray. God doesn't need to do for you what you can do for yourself. Are we together? He said, Satan has desired to sift you like wheat. He said, but I have prayed for you. What was the content of the prayer? That thy faith fail not. He said, and when thou art converted, strengthen your brethren. How do you strengthen them? By teaching them that there are some things you cannot do for yourself. And when you find what you cannot do for yourself, find the grace that can make it happen for you. Peter, I see you in a situation now. I see that your capacity cannot go far enough to give you that miracle. So I came in for you. In this similitude, advocate this mystery. When you see people trying things and it's not working, tell them stop, stop, stop. In this kingdom, it's all right to be helped. Find a grace. Peter, Satan desired to sift you like wheat. And as far as your level is concerned, Satan would have, he already had a headway. But I came in, Kabbalah Kutia, and prayed for you that your faith fail not. He said, when you are strengthened. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you. One of the most uncomfortable things for believers to learn, especially because of the teachings that we've had. Um, of course, the Bible says you can do all things, I believe. The Bible says that because of the provisions that God has put in the kingdom. Are we together now? Yes. When I say I will serve you jollof rice, it's not just because I can cook. 
is because there is a way of getting it available the most important thing is that you have it so when the bible says all things are possible it's because of the possibilities he invested within the kingdom are we together one of it one of the mysteries that make all things possible is the ability to tap from higher graces you are getting there one day but if god is to allow you get there before you get the result satan will eat you up before you get there are we together so jesus as a baby could not pray for himself so god put a grace in hannah the prophetess to continue interceding until he would grow in wisdom as a baby he was killable so god had to put men to agree when he became strong he started standing for others when the disciples were weak in themselves jesus stood for them when they became strong they stood for others too that's how it works in the kingdom believe all the possibilities of the bible but be sincere enough to know what possibilities are available at your level of grace and then you are able to find the grace and the anointing that can supplement otherwise you will stand in pride believing all things are possible and it may not work for you there is a reality that predates our existence and if you do not know it you will be a victim in this life psalm 82 from verse 5 the bible says they know not neither will they understand i have spent my life studying the laws of the spirit i have literally committed my life to explore these ancient mysteries what was the secret of ancient men what made them mighty what made them great and i found out that every mighty man then and now stands upon a spiritual advantage there is a pedestal in the spirit that sponsors their audacity is someone hearing what i'm saying you don't just tell somebody be healed and he gets healed brothers and sisters human beings are not idiots are you hearing what i'm saying i can't just look at this lady and say your story will change and then it changes come on i prophesy as I was commanded. I prophesied as I was commanded. See, this is the dynamics of miracles. I'm explaining to you the inner workings of the miraculous. It happens because all that you see is not all that there is. This realm is a three-dimensional realm, physics tells us, and is limited. The realm of the spirit has other dimensions, meaning there are other possibilities beyond the scope of our intellect are you getting what i'm saying yes this is the realm of wisdom that kings reign by he said by me kings reign and princes decree justice he said with me are riches wealth and honor yea durable riches and righteousness tonight it's not just for you to receive a miracle but to empower you that when you make a statement there is an understanding that forces that statement to come to pass hallelujah when you talk to people about finances the first idea that comes to their mind is business is that not true what business okay real estate okay stocks okay this and that i've said it again and again again and again that I don't care what business you do or what job you are having you will struggle forever until there is a spiritual factor that is at work are you getting me yes the bible says you have an unction from the holy one he said that unction can teach you isaiah 48 from verse 17 he says i am the lord thy god that teacher thee to profit and lead you in the way that you should go there is an anointing this heat and run trial and error life must end tonight we can walk circumspectly on the strength listen you can be 70 years old and have an error about life for that long are you getting me a whole nation can be wrong 
our society we transfer knowledge upon the strength of what we know or what we have been told when man ran away from god he said adam where are thou genesis 3 he says the lord had the talking spirit the voice of god walking in the cool of the day and he said adam where are thou he said i heard thy voice but i hid because i was naked he said who told you meaning your life is a summation of the informations you have gotten and you have believed but could it be that what you have held as truth all your life may not necessarily be accurate taught by well-meaning people there is the life of the kingdom and there is the life of this world system cosmos we are not the same it says you are in the world but you are not of the world there is a plane of reality you must function for hallelujah So number one, an encounter with the word. You need an encounter with the word. The word of God does three things among many other things. Please write. Number one, the word of God shows you the basis upon which you will receive any promise. The word of God shows you the basis. The realm of the spirit is a legal realm. Everybody say legal realm. So, you don't just, you can play crooks in the earth realm here, but not in the realm of the spirit. Everything is done legally and legitimately. If you ever see anything manifest itself, certain laws were applied. Praise the Lord. So, the word of God shows you the basis. Remember in our, our series, uh, the teaching, Give Me This Mountain. I teach about the spiritual dimension of life that there are gates on every mountain everybody say there are gates on every mountain when you get to that mountain of breakthrough there are gates it will not just open because you are a christian when jesus in psalm 24 was about to come out from the grave the bible says there were gates the psalmist saw it it said lift up your head O ye gates and be lifted, O ye ancient doors. Did they open? No, sir. They asked a question. Who is this king of glory? Give us the basis of your audacity. Upon what are you standing? And he says, he is the Lord, strong and mighty. The one who just defeated darkness. And the gates opened. So when you stand to receive the miracle, oh God, change my story from SS to AA. There will be a question in the spirit. Upon what strength? That's the parable that Jesus was giving. The parable, right, of two men who built houses. One upon sand, the other upon a rock. Two houses were built, but what supported them became the distinguishing factor. Praise the Lord. The basis. It's important for you to know the basis. Let me tell you very straight and uh, in a in a way that does not require any confusion everybody writes the finished work of christ this is the basis this is the reason it is the one master factor the finished work of christ I love Jesus. I love Jesus. Many of us need to meditate on what he really did for us. Do you know that it is on the strength of what happened on the cross? The way, access, the veil has been torn and it's given us access. Access. Revelations 5. Revelations 5. Verse 9. Very quickly, please let's hurry up so that we can do much tonight. Revelations 5. And they sang a new song saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. It says, For thou wast slain and you have redeemed us unto God. How? By thy blood. That's the basis. The substitutionary work of Christ. I told you, you can get our teaching the speaking blood. I told you blood is a key in the spirit. Is that true? Blood is a key in the spirit. Everybody's blood can open certain doors, but not every door. That's why when you go to a herbalist, he will 
he will calculate by divination and tell you the kind of blood that will open the gate you want so the blood of jesus is the greatest because it is the master key there is no door that it cannot open it says out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation verse 10 it says and has made us unto our god kings and priests and as a result we shall reign everybody say dominion he has given us access to dominion access to dominion praise the lord so when you study the word of god it gives you the basis so when you stand and say i'm tired of this cancer or i'm tired of this barrenness it's been five years I've not been able to take in the realm of the spirit will ask you so upon what now do you believe you will take in and you tell them there is a key that has opened that door there is a key the blood of the eternal covenant hallelujah everybody say the blood of Jesus is my access to my inheritance one more time say the blood of Jesus is my access to my inheritance you're not just saying it after me you are confessing say the blood of jesus is my access to my inheritance hallelujah that's the reason why you get married that's the reason why the devil must leave tonight that's the reason why the genotype must change that's the reason why every prophetic word that comes upon you must produce result. That's the reason why as many of you standing outside, although you are far, but the ministry of that blood can still speak. Hallelujah. I believe in the power of the blood of Jesus. Not just because preachers said the blood is powerful. I have a revelation of the significance of the blood. Revelation is powerful. It produces true faith in your spirit. So that you are not believing blindly. You are believing upon the strength of an understanding. So the blood of Jesus is your basis for receiving breakthroughs. And when we stand up to pray and we begin to challenge the gates of hell. You don't stand weak. And you are wondering and say, do you know nobody in my family has crossed this barrier? You say, well, I couldn't cross it, but that blood created a divide and I must walk past it. Look, let me tell you. The Bible says, let me show you something. Isaiah, Isaiah, Isaiah. Let's look at Isaiah. Isaiah, help me Holy Spirit. Isaiah 41 verse 21. I saw this scripture in 2004 and it changed my life. Isaiah 41, 21. Everybody read. One to read. Look, God is speaking like a judge in a law court. Are you getting me? He said, produce your cause. He said, bring forth your strong reason. Give me a scriptural basis to bless you justify your qualification to step into a new level you don't say that just by jacking yourself you lift up the blood and say this is my basis this is my basis upon the strength of what your son did he has given me access to health he has given me access to the blessing of the Lord praise God Number two, an encounter with the word of God brings you to agree with God. It brings you to agree with God. We call that, listen, we call that alignment and transformation. Alignment and transformation. Somebody come. Please look for that scripture for me. With God, all things are possible. Right? Somebody come, anybody. Watch this. An encounter with the word of God. Remember I told you in our teaching yes, um, last week, right? The reality of what? Spiritual laws. I told you that no man can activate any law by himself. Is that true? 
a spirit entity, either the Holy Spirit or another spirit must walk with you. So in the realm of the spirit, partnership is the order of things. You cannot do anything alone. Either a demon spirit or the spirit of God must assist you. So the Bible says, you are yet to find it. Matthew, Matthew 19, 26, media. Are you getting my point now? The problem with many people is that we are far apart. This is where God is standing. This is God's mindset, right? He says, as far as the heavens are above the earth, so are my thoughts, my ways. Is that true? So this is God standing and he's saying, come and join me. But she's standing here and saying, Lord, I need you to help me. And God is saying, it's against the law. You have to find, come, I supply grace. You take advantage of that grace and come. When we are together, so the Bible says, with God. Come, with God. All things become possible. So without God, nothing becomes possible. So that cancer with God becomes possible. You see that? Are you getting my point? That admission with God. The Bible says with God. So koinonia miracle service with God will produce result. The, 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 this is the mystery. This is the mystery of impact with God. Acts 10.38 how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. The Bible says he went about doing good and healing all they that were oppressed. Why? For God was with. The Bible says, and the Lord walking with them. This is the mystery. Divine assistance coming into God's realm. You no longer become an enemy of your own destiny. And we call that alignment and transformation. That's one of the major ministries of the word. So the word of God begins to advocate a superior mindset. Higher and greater than the ideology you've held on to. It may be cultural. It may be intellectual. Right? It may be societal. But when the word of God begins to judge you, it shows you the excellency of God's own mindset. And it's up to you to say, Lord, although this is all I've believed my, all my life. For instance, there are people who are here with certain terminal diseases and they have been told. They've lived all their lives believing. They didn't even come for the miracle service for that specific case to be healed. They came for something else. Right? Because according to their mind, it has not yet become a possibility that God can address that issue. But when he looked at the tomb where Lazarus had been buried, he said, roll away the stone. Prove that I can raise Lazarus back by you going to open up that case that you have closed. Praise the Lord. I believe God. I'm a believer. I truly believe him. Proverbs chapter 3 from verse 5 says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. It says, lean not on your own understanding. The next verse says, in all your ways, not some. He didn't say talk to him. He says acknowledge him. You acknowledge a man by giving him preference. He says and as a result he will direct your path. Next verse says be not wise in your own understanding. He says fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Hallelujah. Very important. So with God. This lady may be weak. Unable to do anything. But with God. She may be broke, suffering, nothing is working. But all of a sudden she comes and she finds out that there is he that scattered and yet increases. There is he that withholded more than his meat and tends to poverty. She begins to learn the ways of God that he can open up the heavens. That it is the blessing of the Lord, not your business. It is the blessing. The blessing makes everything you do prosper. That's why it says whatsoever he doeth prospers. So it's not about what you are doing. It's about the spiritual factor that supports what you are doing. So, with God, with God, she suddenly becomes powerful. 
all of a sudden doors of favor open up to her because she has chosen to leave her old mindset and come to God listen to me tonight the first miracle you need to have is to give up on your ideologies and say Lord I'm tired because your life is a reflection of your ideologies I don't care what the situation is I told us last week that your environment will eventually become a reflection of what your belief system and your ideology he said let this mind Philippians chapter 2 from verse 5 let this mind the word let there is permit permit this mind please I know that you came from Kaduna state and Kaduna state there may be a way you thought about in your village I know that you came from from the east and there is a way that they thought I know that you come from the west I know that you come from Katsina tonight will you choose to become a citizen of the kingdom by adopting the ideologies of the king subscribe to a new government every government has an economic system every government has a political system every government has a welfare system if you have been evil know how to give good gifts to your children how much more shall your heavenly father but that law is only operational for the sons of the kingdom hallelujah the word of god brings you into alignment listen when i begin to study the word of god or when she begins to study the word of god and she finds out that there is an ideology that she has that fights against the word of god you will be foolish to argue with the word of god the word of god predates our existence it has been tried through dispensations the word of god is a description of his character his operation with man and i told you that the efficacy of the word transcends genesis 1 is beyond that it predates genesis 1 i told you genesis 1 is not the first creation if we've settled that right job 38 those of you who are just coming this is koinonia get the series hallelujah that there, there is a lot of creation genesis 1 uh, isaiah 38 begins to give us how the foundation of the earth was created praise the lord the question i'm asking you is i know you want god to bless you but could it be that the devil that needs to go out today is not the one in your village is the one that has stayed in your mind like a stronghold the bible says that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through god to what the pulling down of strongholds casting down every yazar imagination and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of christ and bringing every thought to the obedience of christ praise the lord so we have been given a poverty mentality as africa we have been taught that until you are 25 or 30 don't think about finances don't think about blessing don't think about empowerment and you are told that you are too young to carry the power of god or you are a lady you shouldn't carry the power of god these are the ideologies that cosmos markets to us but you must refuse it say i refuse shout it i refuse, I refuse. Mm. you must refuse it you must refuse it who told you you were naked who told you you were naked i honor the doctors but do you know that there are many people who who have several sicknesses but it never affects them because they do not have a medical report to validate it you went to check headache they said my brother this thing is more than headache you mean you would have died now we have a lot of doctors here doctors i love you praise the lord but now when you check and they tell you huh, do you know that your liver is almost in fact you say you you mean it hi from that time your liver starts paining you physically right and then the doctor tells you you have two weeks to live all of a sudden somebody says there's an opportunity god is lifting us they let him lift you there i'm dying i believe the report of the lord i believe the report of god see listen you don't see with your eyes you see through your eyes there is a spiritual agency for sight 
you only see through these physical eyes. It's not what you see with. They are just the physical components that enable your true spiritual eye to see. And Paul prayed that that eyes be flooded with light. Praise the Lord. So we need alignment. That's why you can pray for people. Pray for them. Lay hands on them. Do whatever you want to do. Did you know that sometimes you finish praying and then the people walk right back because their mindset betrays what God wants to do in their lives. That's what happened to the nation of Israel. Right? Everything you have told Moses we will do oh, after two weeks. They say, Kai! A, a delegation comes and they say, Moses, we, we need an explanation. Go and bring Baal. Make something for us that we can see. This mysterious God who comes with smoke, we don't know this one. Please, make something we know. They limited God in the wilderness. A man's mindset can limit God as mighty as he is. I refuse to limit you. Number three, the word of God, an encounter with the word of God shows you your part of the deal. It shows you the part you have to play to commit God to a performance. Never forget this. There is a part that you have to play, brothers and sisters. Every promise in scripture requires a partnership on your own part. Deuteronomy 28 from verse 1. It says, If thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord to do and observe all that I command thee this day. Right? And then it talks about um, you being exalted above all the nations and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you. If there is a condition. Isaiah 119. If ye be willing and obedient, you will eat the good of your the land not if ye be hungry and desperate if ye be what willing and obedient there is a condition there is a condition there are always conditions so an encounter with the word reveals to me my part of God's prosperity package Lord you want to bless me what is my role right I want to step into levels of the anointing. The word of God shows me. is See, reading the word is like walking in your promised land. It says walk left and right. See everything as far as your eyes have seen. So, you read, studying the word of God is like touring your promised land. And you come back and say, Lord, as I read, I found this and that. And God says, alright, here's the condition. Everything is yours for it. You can enter a restaurant. Immediately you enter the restaurant, you see a lap of an agri chicken and you start smiling. But you came there with 100 naira. There is a condition. You want to be a possessor. You want to make that thing become a present reality. There is a price tag. Nobody stops you. There's no policeman to stop you. But you can watch it like a museum and salivate and watch. Right? And nothing happens. You may be 30 years. But a little baby will come with his father and he say, Mommy, I like this. And whatever he likes, keep giving it to him. The container did not refuse to open. Your part. I know you are laughing because I spoke about food, but get the revelation because the issue in your life is more than food. Praise God. Oh God, change my story. God says, come let me show you your part of the deal. He said, God, I don't want you. Are, you have died for me. Mm -mm. Listen, listen, listen. Making the word of God work in your life, making that which he has done to work in your life will require a participation on your own part. Please understand this. Praise the Lord. Are we following? So these three things. Tonight, as you are seated here, there are some of us, the reason why certain levels of breakthrough have not come into our lives is because we have not been able to support our claims in prayer with a basis you have you have always every power challenging me you better leave because of what why should they leave do you know what brought them in the first place 
they were there before you were born so i came to koinonia every demon i'm tired of you that's not what drives them you, you don't they don't go because you are tired 38 years that man was lying down at a pool that wicked spirit did not say kai 37 38 oh yeah let me allow you you have tried you would have remained there forever in five minutes five minutes meaning time does not change anything light is what changes things it will change tomorrow you are wasting your time arise and shine not because you are tired of sitting isaiah 64 thy light is come hmm. are you getting blessed so there are some of us here what you need is to understand a revelation of what jesus christ has done you think the reason why you may get everything is because you are bold or because you are praying it's not that there is a revelation the blood of jesus for years i had rain had bonke talk about the blood of jesus so much he, he equated blood and fire and i didn't i couldn't quite get it until i found out that blood was a key in the spirit that's why every religion has blood as part of their component this is the one factor that every religion agrees upon blood hallelujah and there are some of us here the problem is our mindset god wants to bless us he wants to lift us but there is a mindset oh i'm a lady oh i'm coming from so so and so i cannot even speak english oh this and that and that and that i've not even gotten admission or oh, oh me i just want a little this oh i made that and that huh Oh God, I want you to bless me, but it must happen through NMPC. If you are Lord, it must happen through NMPC. They limited God. You are asking God for a cup and he wants to give you an ocean. Hallelujah. That's the problem with the body of Christ. Our faith is what I call auxiliary faith. Faith that is standing on something. Tied to the neck of your uncle. So every time you say, Lord, bless me, what you mean is press that uncle's neck until he responds to me. Your faith is not really standing upon the word of God. Your faith, every time you say, Lord, I, 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 I know you are changing my story. What you are simply saying, oh Lord, I know my uncle will not sleep until my... No, no, no. Why don't you give him the option to bring the strategy? And you say, Lord, I don't care how it will be done. I may not see wind. I may not see rain. But one thing I know, because let me tell you, your strategy is most of the time carnal, but his strategy becomes spiritual. When he gives you a strategy, it may look foolish, but that's the way he has chosen it. Right? Go around Jericho. That's the strategy. Oh, I'm already ahead of myself. The second way to receive a miracle, or the second platform now, first is an encounter with the word of God. Second is the ministry of prayer. The ministry of prayer is part of the equation to receiving a miracle. There must be the ministry of prayer. It does two things. Number one, prayer challenges the forces of darkness fighting against the manifestation of the promise in your life. Ephesians 6 verse 12. The Bible clearly tells us that we are not alone in this world. We have strangers who are trying to escort us every day, every time. Wicked spirits stratified in different cadres right so you are always not alone the devil attempts to seek entrance into different dimensions of your life and given the opportunity he will wreck your life the goal to mock the testimony of god in your life praise the lord so there are giants on every mountain please don't let anybody fool you there are giants on every mountain if you get into a mountain and the door is already open, somebody already killed the giants, but there were giants there. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. The stratification of the demonic kingdom. So between you and your breakthrough, there are giants. It takes the ministry of prayer. Hallelujah. When you pray, you authorize heaven. To look into your situation because god is not committed to step into your situation without your asking him to genesis 1 26 from the day he said let them have dominion but god is supposed to know now doesn't he love me well it will not change the bones kept staring at ezekiel until something happened praise the lord 
you come for miracle service and you find out that as the word is coming like this there are still people seated oppressed of demons right some of these demons are hearing what i'm saying now they are just shaking but they are not going yet let's see if we will go must we really go yes by the time we begin to pray we activate the energy the force right it's a force of compliance it brings everything to the obedience of christ so that's why you need to pray you pray to command the forces of darkness that are stopping your access to bow number two this is an even greater reason why we pray prayer reveals the exact and the unique strategy to bring the promise to manifestation please never forget this when you pray in the place of prayer god reveals to you his unique strategy for you so you have walked through scripture and you have seen that god has told you that you are to walk in breakthrough but now the bible may not give you the nitty gritty of what to do in your unique situation prayer when you begin to pray the spirit of god begins to search the mind of god concerning your situation and the bible says how that he searches all things and he prays according to the will of god so you begin to pray and then the lord tells you okay now this is the strategy you are going to meet benga benga will introduce you to femi and femi will introduce you to prof that's how the miracle will come it is a strategy for only you somebody will do it and fail are you seeing why prayer is powerful this is this is am i blessing you in my opinion i think this is already a miracle for somebody i'm showing you the loopholes some of us have seen the promise you have agreed with god but the problem is the strategy in ancient times kings won war not on the strength of their army but the dexterity of their strategy 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 so joshua stood still and god began to give him the strategy he said joshua this is how we we'll throw this wall down walk around seven times did you ever see that repeated in the bible because it was a strategy right he told gideon take the people by the riverside and let them take water study the way they take water you will use it as a separation strategy somebody has come tonight to receive strategy lord how do i complete this house you calculated your salary based on your salary to take 10 years and god says i can show you a strategy the bible says then was the secret revealed unto daniel a wicked king slept in the night dreamt and forgot it and was going to punish people for his forgetfulness right and a man called daniel one of the greatest prayers that have been praying in this season is Lord's strategy. It is all about strategy. I'm telling you. God will show you something that does not make sense. But it's his strategy for you. Everyone will do it and fail. But it's what you will do. And you will walk on. Hallelujah. So you look at that business and you are praying. And God will say, uh-uh. My strategy for you is take that business out of where you are. Take it to another place. Isaac already knew he had the blessing upon him. But he needed a strategy. Right? That's why every time kings would fight, they would go and inquire. What is the strategy for this war? They will not use yesterday's strategy for today's war. They will fail woefully. And so they will go, should I pursue? And the Lord will say, this is how it will happen. Like in the days of Jehoshaphat. Put worshippers in front. Other times he said, walk around seven times. Other times he said, just be still. Get a stone and sit down and watch what I will do. Strategy. Question. The strategy you are using for your life now, who gave you? I saw another man do it, you see. He just went and started selling tomato. You see, it, it, God said he will bless you. But what drove you into it? I, I, a man must work. Don't stop those kind of demonic thinking. There must be a strategy oh lord change my story i think i'll start selling shoes just like that just like that the bible says as they began to pray the holy ghost said separate me paul and barnabas if they were to choose they would have carried somebody else right now 
when we begin to pray i am convinced that god will begin to reveal strategies for people mm. strategies on how to make the rain work some of you listen students there are students here that all you need is one strategy there is a course everybody has told you this course and you are face to face with that goliath you've been running away but right you are there now you need a strategy hallelujah there are some of you maybe your project a supervisor may be difficult and god can give you a strategy the strategy may not necessarily be a direct revelation from the spirit it can be light a one scripture imprints in your spirit as you are praying oh god what do i do about this my supervisor suddenly a scripture comes the gift of a man makes room you quickly go and package wine not to bribe the man you are responding to a strategy ordinarily he would have thrown you out with your wine but because you are doing it as a strategy you will laugh and say why did you have to do that what is even your name you have been disturbing me it's a strategy don't give me strategy you will see men do foolish things that don't make sense that's what god told us when when we wanted to start giving access to our messages i went to the lord and the lord told me he said make sure you do not sell any message keep the videos give out the mp3s that's the strategy right you may do it for your ministry and you will lose a lot of money the blessing god has tied for your ministry you would but but it is a strategy it's a strategy when i said lord what is the key to the publicity and the increase and the expansion of this ministry in terms of membership god gave me a strategy it's not a secret mark one two three you may apply it and it may not work for you but that's what the lord gave and this is the mystery behind what you see i like you as you are seated before we stand up to pray in one minute speak to the lord what is the strategy lord my family has been struggling over this issue for years Every time they want to build, there is no money. What is the strategy? Please take what I'm saying seriously. One strategy can change your situation. Not just a strategy you read from a book. One strategy. There is an easier way of doing it. That you have not seen it does not mean it's not there. Why we look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are temporal. In 24 hours, by the strategy of the Spirit, He gave victory. Please pray. God has shown you your destiny helper, but He's not paying attention to you. One strategy will answer the question. Pray. God has shown you the business He wants you to do, but as it is, you try and try. You need strategy. It's not like you didn't hear God. The ministry of prayer. You have been reading and reading. You did well in 100 level. 200 level. By 300 level you started moving back. Because you need to change strategy. You need to go to his majesty. To show you. Strategy 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 please pray for your ministry sister you don't need all the money you think you need what you need is a strategy from the spirit believe me you have tried every idea you know you have tried everything they have told you why don't you cry before God come on now pray koinonia Reveal unto me the strategy. My family is suffering. There is witchcraft in my family. They have vowed. But my father will not listen. What is the strategy for the deliverance of my family? Everybody in my family is an unbeliever. But I've seen in visions and dreams that they will all be saved. Between the promise and the manifestation, what is the strategy? Lord, I've applied for job everywhere. Civil defense, immigration, everywhere. What is the strategy? Hallelujah. 
strategy the last thing I'll talk about when we stand up we're going to do a quick walk very very quick walk the last step towards the manifestation of a miracle is that you must take action take action I want everybody to listen to me carefully because God is about to speak to us in a very definite way now I hope you have been blessed so far take action there are two enemies of action that are found from scripture number one fear fear everybody say fear fear is a dangerous and wicked spirit there are multi-millionaires sitting listening to me now but fear has stopped them from taking action there are many families you would have finished building your house since not just a bungalow that will kill you there are people seated here if you took the step god told you last year you would have been feeding your family this year fear tonight i'm showing you all the things that there is work to do tonight are you getting my point everybody shout i reject fear, I reject fear. oh fear does not respect age children fear adults fear great men fear macho men fear intelligent people fear right now africa is afraid nigeria is afraid many people are afraid the dollar is crashing everybody is afraid you don't know what to do right there's fear everywhere when the devil when god tells you get up and build a house this year that house must be built and all you have is hundred thousand and you calculate and you find out that the building will cost seven million and you're laughing you say god don't disgrace me let the people in the village not say i'm stupid take action listen the bible says this sign shall follow not go before you will never see the hand of god till you stand up and move this is somebody's this is a word from god to someone you have refused to move fear you wrote jam nine times you didn't get it god is saying this time you will get it say i'm not ready i better go to the restaurant and eat food with that money see that fear are we getting blessed let's look at two scriptures second timothy 1 verse 7 take it high please second timothy 1 verse 7 please help us media let's really hurry up we have to hurry up because we have some prayer to do are you seeing the things that are limiting us truly i am determined this year to see that every one of us has a testimony if nothing changes in your life this year then it's your fault but as far as the principles that will guarantee for you to experience the rain by the grace of god i will do my best for god had not given us the spirit of fear put your name there just that first clause one to read One more time. Praise the Lord. There are many of our loved ones. 45 years. Brother, are you ready to get out of your father's house? I preached a message in 2008. It was a classic. Come out of your father's house. Thought provoking message to challenge people to leave their comfort zone. There are some of us, 30, 35, 40 was still a big liability to our parents at home. Or God come out to say, what I have now is 20,000. Come out. You have prayed, you have fasted, you have sown seeds, you are giving. Look, let me tell you, if I am a father, my, when my child gets to a certain age, one day, he will just come and say, young man, in the name of Jesus, I release the blessing upon you. Go out. Out. That's it. I'm, I'm very serious. See, you need to push yourself out of your comfort zone this year it's not just to say it's the year of the rain stand up and take action are you hearing what i'm saying change change what you have been doing kill fear take action and die doing it queen esther god took her to the palace god removed vashti and brought her for the salvation of israel but when mordecai spoke to her her man is plotting against these people you better go and meet the king she said ah please oh me too is 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 bring they brought me here please i'm not ready to face any embarrassment and mordecai said sit down there in fear paraphrasing 
sit down there when they finish with us the jews they will now say all of you in this palace bring your bio data and they will find out you are a jew too and they will kill you and she said if i perish i perish this is the year some of us are going to say if i am writing that jam again is god speaking to somebody i'm writing that jam again this is the year but i tried the business i feel you will do it again this year master we have cast he said we have cast the net of how do you put it now right we have toiled all night he said nevertheless at thy word i was going to get married the person even did introduction later he called and he said he's not doing it again and now one godly brother is saying i'm serious he said you look like that guy stand up and take action otherwise you sit down and not get married all your life in the name of Jesus, you will take action this year. Praise the Lord. There are some of us, God is speaking. Fear. Fear. Do you know fear puts people in bondage? More people die. There are many sicknesses today that are as a result of fear and worry. Is that true? What you are afraid of has not happened, but you are, you are almost dying. From today now, people have started running out of Zaria. For instance. You can go if you want to go. What I, <laughs> of course, I'm not teaching you to be careless and just roam around. But, but oh, come on now. People fear everything. You are sleeping in the night. You just light. Maybe it's the cloth you hung that just tilted in a way. Say, I, I don't like the way this cloth. Why is it tilting and coming back? Who is there? <laughs> fear. Fear has made people to say yes when they would have said no. And they committed themselves into things you have no business committing yourself. Fear. One of my friend's father, listen, true story. One of my friend's father, they would have been the earliest people to start pure water business in Nigeria. When God gave him that idea, it was in a full gospel businessmen's fellowship. Right? The idea came and he laughed. Thai water, haba. Who will pay for water? Are we idiots? There is stream, there is sun, there's light, there's stove to warm water. And he refused to take action. And certain people took action. Do you think those who took the action are, are crying now? This year, you must take a handkerchief as you are crying, be moving. Are you getting my point? You must challenge that devil. You have not broken through certain barriers. Nobody has ever crossed to the university in your family. Now you finish secondary school, for instance, and you're about to take that step, and, and everybody said, just, you have tried. You got diploma in, in, in software application. Are you not okay? You are ahead. Yet, every time you sleep, you see a PhD, and the devil is telling you, you cannot move. Tonight, we have come to call that devil a liar. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, I will take action. Say, I will take action. That's right. The second thing that stops action is laziness. Everybody say laziness. My goodness, our time is gone. Laziness. Very important. Proverbs chapter 10 verse 4, please. Proverbs 10 verse 4. And then later on, we would look at Proverbs 22 verse 13. Media, please don't forget. Proverbs 10 verse 4. There are some of us the demon that needs to fly out of our life today, not jump out, fly out and never return, is that spirit of laziness, that inertia to move forward. Some of us, sheer laziness. The Bible says, he become poor that dealeth with what? You never stay around me and you become lazy. I have zero tolerance for lazy people. A young man of 30 years by 11 30 12 is still snoring on the bed you will beg for bread for sure there is no amount of fasting that will change that if you don't change it there are many lazy people we like a wolf free things look let me tell you there is a place for diligence if you must see the rain fall upon you this year are we getting blessed he become a poor that deals with a slack hand but the hand of the diligent does what? There are some of you, you are experts at begging. Day and night, you beg everybody. Right? 
please, Ross, I beg, you get 5K, help me. Next time, sister, sorry, I'm just knowing you, don't be embarrassed, I need 2K. You, you degrade yourself because of this devilish attitude of laziness. There are grasses in people's houses to go and weed. There are things to do. But you get up and believe you're a big boy. Big boy with nothing in your pocket. You calm down. Don't try to look successful. Pay the price and be successful. Hallelujah. Are you getting blessed? You must reject laziness. There are some students. You see how some students live. You think, you think that they are professors. Right? 10 or 11 exams is in one week and you see the person just strolling with his boxers go and fetch a, 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 a bucket of water lazily he cannot even wait at the tap he will turn somebody else's water drag himself to the bathroom come out 30 minutes later huh? dirty boxers dirty singlets you can't wash it laziness all around you can't get up and sweep your room and some of our sisters are like that who do you want to marry? Tall, dark, and handsome. He must be a millionaire. You think God doesn't have sense? He said, do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. Whatsoever a man sows. There are many people. See, look, let me tell you. Sometimes you may see me, you see some of the things we are doing, and you just don't be deceived by this, this ever water. If you want it, come and carry it. There is, there is more than this. Are you getting my point? First thing tomorrow morning, we are leaving for Katsina. It takes work. It's not just anointing. It takes diligence. Please, you need to talk to yourself and say, this year, the spirit of laziness, I curse you out of my life. Curse you out of my life. An assignment you can do now. You sit down and say, I will do it on Wednesday. You get zero. Right? Another assignment, you get zero. They just, they, they solve a the question in class. They say, just copy it and get 10 marks. They say, I will do it later. Look, procrastination, you must attack it this year. Hallelujah. You are working in the office of your boss because you think you come for koinonia and the person you are working for is here. It's no guarantee to be lazy. I will fire you. I employ you. You are not doing what I employ. In the name of Jesus, I will fire you. And you will come back and you will hear me preach. Absolutely. Absolutely. There is truly no food for a lazy man. Let me tell you the truth. You must get up. And, and be serious about your destiny and work. There are some of us this year. You have no business with relationship. If you are passing and you see any beautiful lady. Just say blood of Jesus and pass. Because this year is a year to you. Your own reign is coming to give you grace to stand up. No responsible parent will give a daughter to somebody who doesn't know where he's going. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Very important. But I believe that as we contend tonight in this miracle service, it's going to be a very fast walk. For me, I think this, this is it happening to you. If, if we close right now, I believe that you would have left with something. Many of us here belong to this category, this laziness category, right? Because social media, Facebook, Twitter, has and, and, and BBM has massaged our life of laziness. Something you can get up and do. You see a lot of people just to walk from one place to the other. You are taking a bike. Huh? Laziness. It's not like you are in a hurry for anything. You just load your phone and sit down in the afternoon. You are not working. You are not doing anything. You are a liability to everybody around you. And you are just, you are, you are sending Yarrow boys as a student, for instance, to go and buy you Mr. Biggs. Four, five thousand. They bring everything. You lie down with phone that you forced out of your father or mother. And you are making calls in the daytime. Even a worker is not doing that. You ping your life out. and The person you are pinging is in the office making money. You are there struggling. The day you call him, he stops responding to you. Please don't be a liability to anybody this year. Whoever has been ignoring you is because you are becoming a pest. Rise up and begin to be hardworking and you will become friends again. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Especially for the brothers. Brothers say amen. 
let me talk to you for one minute before we start praying this year please please something must change there are some people sir five years six years no job not because they they have never taken their cv anywhere yeah, but my uncle said it now that uncle said it's wicked you came to stay in your friend's house when you stayed in his house he was a student he graduated served and is working you are still staying in his house he has gotten a job you are still staying in his house whoever that friend is drive that person out after miracle service tell him in the name of jesus christ i appreciate you three years is enough time for you to sit down get koinonia messages 2012 13 14 it will liberate you please out of my house sometimes you need to push some people into their breakthrough over pampering destroys hallelujah over pampering destroys there are times you need to get up and challenge yourself they send you money in two weeks you are already calling again laziness you won't do anything you hear that there is scholarship free there are many graduates many graduates you win is out they won't apply i think it finished today they won't do anything you said god told you you'll be an entrepreneur huh? and you are not doing anything you've never gotten up to go for any seminar to build yourself you see a seminar you reject it you are not watching anything on youtube you are not going to sit and learn under people you are just sitting down bragging around with nonsense that's what a lot of young people are doing around huh? god blesses you with fifty thousand that can start something that can bless you you use it and buy a suit to prove a point to the people who are busy building their destinies they are not even seeing the point you must change this year in the name of jesus christ fear and laziness we are going to pray three serious prayer points the moment we pray these three prayer points the night will start with the sick people we we'll start ministering to the sick people as soon as we pray the three prayer points please begin to write your prayer requests while we minister those outside can you shout hallelujah one more time shout hallelujah the lord will visit you in a mighty way in jesus name praise the lord rise up on your feet and let's pray success is not automatic there are laws there are laws this is our year of the rain god has spoken to us shown us the loopholes lift your hands and begin to thank god for this word tonight he that he loves he chastises bless his name bless his name lift your hands inside and outside bless the name of the lord thank you father for this word it has come to clean me up it has come to purify me it has come to challenge me hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord prayer point number one say after me in the name of jesus please say it like you believe it in the name of jesus i receive grace to align my mindset to that of the word of god every thinking pattern every thought process that is not of god i challenge you in the name of jesus lift your voice and begin to pray father give me the mindset of victory i'm tired of carrying ideologies some of us have ideologies about church we have ideologies about praying in tongues ideologies about the holy spirit ideologies about prosperity ideologies about miracles ideologies about responsibility about marriage that are antagonistic to the ways of god the first miracle tonight is to pray i submit my mentality i submit my thought pattern please pray pray from your heart i refuse to be limited 
there is still a place for champions in life there is still a place for the great but you can never rise above your thought pattern you can never rise above your ideology you may have held on to it for years it's time to probe your ideologies it's time to probe your ideologies it's time to re-examine your mindset let this mind be in me that was in Christ Jesus the mindset of victory I don't see defeat in my life I don't see defeat with God I am unlimited with God I am unbeatable with God I am a champion ay, 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 ay. pray rejoice not over me my enemies for though I fall yet I will rise again hallelujah hallelujah prayer point number two you are going to challenge that spirit of laziness are you getting my point fear and laziness let's combine it together say after me in the name of Jesus I challenge every spirit of fear for God has not given me the spirit of fear but of love of power and of a sound mind therefore I declare that fear is banished from my life I refuse to fear and I challenge laziness from today I receive the grace to be diligent no more laziness it's time to take action lift your voice and begin to pray time to take action 2015 time to take financial steps 2015 time to take spiritual steps 2015 time to take intellectual steps Go ahead and pray. Oh, in the name of Jesus, I cause the spirit of fear, fear of death, fear of past failure, every intimidation. Inside and outside, pray. Pray. I cause the spirit of fear. I cause the spirit of fear. I'm a champion. I can make it. I can break barriers. I can break barriers. I am well able. I am not weak. I am strong in the strength of the Lord. And I cause laziness. I cause laziness. Laziness to study the word. Spiritual laziness. Mental laziness. Physical laziness. Hallelujah. Last prayer point. As we pray this prayer point, my goodness, I already sense the power of God in a mighty way. That's right. As we pray this very prayer point, the healing power of God will begin to move hallelujah I'm going to request those who are sick those who came specifically for healing you will find your way as hold on let's pray first before you come I'd like you to come believing that you will part with that sickness forever hallelujah the last prayer point say in the name of Jesus oh God reveal to me 
the strategy for possessing my blessing reveal to me the strategy in the name of Jesus lift your voice and pray Lord I cry what is the strategy what is the strategy come on pray koinonia I cry unto the spirit of wisdom show me the strategy for my prosperity show me the strategy for my blessing show me the strategy for my lifting show me the strategy to get the attention of my destiny helpers show me the strategy for the church growth show me the strategy for the expansion of my business show me the strategy for five points show me strategy for first class show me the strategy to pass the jump show me the strategy hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Show me the strategy to unlock my marital destiny. Show me the strategy to unlock my marital destiny. Pray. Show me the strategy. Oh yes. The strategy is revealed in the place of prayer. In the place of prayer. Make sure you are praying tonight. Show me the strategy to open me up to the next level of destiny. Show me the strategy. I'm tired of making mistakes. I'm tired of moving in circles. It's time to move forward. It's time to move forward. It's time to move forward. I'm tired of marking time. It's time to break forth. Hallelujah. Begin to pray now and say, God, visit me. We are going to do, the Holy Ghost will do a very quick walk. Very quick walk. Hallelujah. Those who are sick, I'd like you to come up and line up here. Very quickly. If you came here for the miracle service for healing, please come and line up. Ushers, help them, coordinate them. Let's have it very quickly. While that is happening, make sure you write your request. There is a mystery of answered prayer in this house. Make sure, please. If you have not written your prayer request, start writing it. I don't care what the situation is. I like you to write it and let's drop it before God. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, oh mighty God. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, Lord. You those of you in front, I know you came here because of the testimonies you have had. I want you to know that your situation will not be different. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I want you to believe in the power of God. There are certain conditions. Listen to me. There are conditions in this place that are entirely demonic. Hallelujah. It's going to be a fast one. I don't know if we'll have time to take testimonies or not. But because there, I, I really, I really, really need to rush with time and let's do a lot please if we end late today i apologize in advance we'll do our best to kill time but please wait because god has something to do in your life hallelujah praise the lord father we give you praise 
it's called a miracle service we thank you for the anointing of the spirit in the name of jesus everybody make sure you participate now if there if you have loved ones who are sick you can connect you can tell them to connect praise the lord you don't need to come out for them but you can call them or do whatever and tell them look connect to what god is doing hallelujah we bless the name of the lord worship team help us praise the lord father we give you all the praise and we trust you to glorify the name of your son right now in jesus name go ahead please who brought this lady who brought this lady who came with her please if you brought somebody let's know please we are not faking it here what's what's wrong with her legs who brought her my dear look at me what's wrong with your leg huh? you what my leg is swollen. Your leg is swollen. I'm looking in the spirit and I'm seeing a charm. Look at me. What What did you say? You sat in what? I woke up. So you woke up and you saw your leg. leg. It's not a wound. This is a charm. In the name of Jesus, I break it. I curse it. Look at me. You've not been able to walk. I can walk for long. Okay, look at I me. I keep coming out. Look at me. Post. It's coming out with pause. I curse it. Look at me. Just look at me. Keep your legs. Just look at me. Don't look at your legs. Look at me. Look at me. Not, don't look at the legs. In the name of Jesus. Walk. Come. Come. Just come. Don't look at me. Look at me. Come. Walk. Come on. Give Jesus praise. Look at what is happening. See, she's even surprised. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Can you climb up here? Climb by yourself. It's witchcraft. Don't be afraid. Help her if she needs any help. Okay, come. Move your legs. Just do what I'm doing. Move your legs. Move your legs. I curse that devil in the name of Jesus Christ. I break that power of witchcraft right now. I release that. Come on now, Koinonia. Give Jesus praise. God is healing people in this place. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy that anyone that has orchestrated anything for you to fall into in the name of Jesus Christ this night I command those powers to be broken in the name of Jesus my dear it never returns to you again and this veil that I see over you in the spirit I command that veil to go now in the name of Jesus Christ give God praise help us worship him please let's hurry Hide me from the rain. My God is awesome. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. I'd like to know what, what really happened to him. Tell, you are the one who brought him. No, no, no. Talk, talk on his behalf. Let's save time, please. Say that I have been sick since 1980, 1998. 1998. Yes. Is he hearing what I'm saying? He's hearing. Okay. Me. Bless you, Daddy. Thank you. Since 1998, what's yes. the sickness? Liver. Liver problem. Liver problem, sir. Sir, what what are the symptoms? What happens to him? Okay, sir. The belly was swelling. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pray for you right now when i pray for you that swelling will go down now now and you'll be able to walk in the name of jesus christ i curse that spirit you are a spirit answer to the name of jesus right now i command the swollen stomach to go down right now you see what is happening to you in the name of jesus the heat sensation you're feeling is the power of god thank you jesus heal right now sir please come because the devil wants to use this and put stroke on you um would you mind if, if i ask you to jump will you jump okay just just try go ahead go ahead just go ahead go ahead just lift it as high as you can look at me don't look at the legs go ahead sir in the name of jesus christ all right let's let's try just jump a little 
Don't be afraid. Go ahead. Go ahead. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now walk, sir. Come. Just walk as fast as you can. As fast as you can. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God is awesome. You are healed completely. In the name of Jesus Christ. As I stepped here, I saw this woman tied from head to toe. This is what I'm seeing. Head to toe. And I'm seeing blood all over you. This is what the Lord is ministering to me. What's wrong with her? Um, suddenly, she just grows lean like this. Mommy, There's look no at me. Ache. You will not die. Hold my hands. Just hold my hands. Just hold it. Look at me. Just look at me. Thank you, Jesus. Now I cost this power. Kalabata Kotobaya. Let mama go now. In the name of Jesus. That's the power of the Holy Ghost. I cost that spirit. Let her go now. I lose you. What couldn't she do? Like Parkinson's disease. Mama, in the name of Jesus Christ. Walk. Come. 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 Clam by yourself. Come. 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 Follow me. Just follow me, Mama. Look at this. Come on now, Koinonia. Give God praise. Can you lift your hands? See, she's laughing. Try to lift your hands, Mama. Can you lift your hands? Can you lift your hands? Is it which of the hands can she lift? Okay, go ahead. Lift, lift your hands. Lift your hands. Bring it down. Lift your hands. Come on, Koinonia. Give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise. In the name of Jesus, look at me. Lift your legs. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead. Go ahead. In the name of Jesus. I cause that spirit. Mama is released right now. Koinonia, give God praise. Let's celebrate what God is doing. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command that power. Come, I need to pray for you too. Your mother, right? I pray for you right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Because I'm seeing this thing. If I don't pray for you, it will affect you too. Right now, I curse. Lord, he's a worker in this house. Therefore, I curse that spirit. You are the sister. Lift your hands. If I don't pray for you, you have problem with marriage. You are young now, but we need to pray. This thing is the whole family thing. Out! In the name of Jesus Christ. I release you from this act of witchcraft in the name of Jesus Christ. Salvation returns to this family. Go ahead and massage her legs. Hallelujah. Please, we are going to really, really be fast. As soon as we pray for you, just give room. Usher, start collecting the prayer request. If you have somebody's picture as I come, I may not be able to talk again. And so we'll just lay our hands. Believe God. Believe God that the situation will change in Jesus' name. My God is
is an iron in your leg. Oh, that's what stops you from moving. But can you stretch it? In the name of Jesus, Father, careful. Although there is an iron in your leg, in the name of Jesus, may there be a miracle. I command this shorter leg to grow out now by the Spirit of God. Madam, look at me. Do you want to try walking? Uh -uh. I'm not asking you what you have. You came here because you believe God can help you. Is that true? You believe that? Okay, as careful as you can, move your legs. You are, you are related to her? Come. Who are you? You are sister, madam? All right. Don't cry. Don't cry. Please. Come, madam. Do you feel pain? You feel pain because of the iron. It's difficult now for us to... But after I pray for you, can you talk to the doctors to look at your legs and look at the iron? They'll be coming on Wednesday. Okay, fine. Father, in the name of Jesus, we agree that as they come on Wednesday and check this leg, they will remove this iron and she will walk normally. Look at, look at this. Look at what the power of God is doing. In the name of Jesus Christ, I curse that spirit. Let there be a miracle right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her have a seat. Please quickly, let's, let's save time. Worship team, help us. Let's not have... They will remove the iron, madam, and you will walk normally in the name of Jesus Christ. I need to pray for you. Yes, I need to pray for you, madam. Because as I'm looking at you, I'm seeing pains. I'm seeing pains, um, like abdominal pains. And the Lord is asking me to minister to you. Can I pray for you? Hold my hands. Jesus, do a miracle right now. I cause that pain by the power of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Please just line them forward. Let them just come forward in the name of Jesus. I don't need to ask you what the situation is. I really want you to believe that. Praise the Lord. I, I don't want you to think that maybe if I don't ask you, it means I don't give value to you. No. It's not even me doing the miracle. Right? It's the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you. Such an awesome God. Such an awesome God. Oh. Hallelujah. Please rise up, everybody. Rise up, everybody. We're going to cause every wicked power. Please listen. Hallelujah. Look at me. I told us that one of the benefits and the blessings of prayer is the ability to cause limiting powers. It's called a miracle service. And this is January. Hallelujah. We believe in the full gospel and everything Jesus died to give. Listen, every power that has tied anyone's destiny down, it's time for it to go. Are you listening to me? Lift your voice and pray in one minute. Go ahead and pray and say, Father, every spirit that is not of God looming around my life and my family, please make sure you are praying that as the word of God comes now, there will be mighty, mighty deliverance. Lord, let there be deliverances. Break limitations over people's lives. Hallelujah. Listen. 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 The reason why the reason why we do deliverance is not is not working against the fact that Jesus says we are this and that and that it is on the strength of that the Bible says although he has put all things under his feet he said we do not yet know I hear a lot of people criticize the ministry of deliverance and all of that um, while I know that there are exaggerations here and there, let me tell you something. The people of God must be subjected to the full weight of all that God's power and anointing can do. Are you following me now? There are people who have struggled here. You love God, but doors will just not open. Let me tell you, there are powers sitting on people's destiny. And by the grace of God, by the grace of God, I'm going to minister to people right now. I see an angel of the Lord moving. And a lady is going to shout. I don't know why God does these things. 
under the anointing when that happens it's a sign that the spirit of God is ready to move and deliver people lift your hands hear me brothers and sisters it takes the power of God to subdue principalities and there are some of you right now both for you and your family there are forces that will not let you go but this night and right now my goodness there is the fire of the spirit at the count of three it's not just a recitation you're going to shout that name the name that paid access for your liberty bring up bring them out my goodness deliverance is already happening inside and outside there will be mighty angels there is the sword of the spirit lord let there be deliverance every family every destiny tied under any yoke of bondage i invoke it in the spirit that at the count of three those devils are under fire one two three come out now i command powers be gone now i cause principalities i cause spirits i cause powers inside outside the angel of the lord is moving i command witchcraft bring them out spirits of ancestry in the name of jesus the powers that have tied down man's destinies the forces that have refused to let you go right now i come with an apostolic anointing and in the name that is above all names let fire fall from heaven over your life over your academics over your marriage through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves lift your hands was he shouting one more time please bring them listen for some of you what will happen right now is not just for you alone but for your family just keep them down there hallelujah malakata and i see this affecting many ladies because i see marriage is being tied makoto tobakata sheketelekaya as you shout that name jesus you may not even know that that thing is in your family but all of a sudden physical fire physical fire will begin to burn right now on the count of three i challenge those powers one two three go 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 i cause that spirit delay delay i cause that spirit inside and outside i command that devil of delay to go now i command that power tying your destiny i command that power tying your breakthrough i command that power tying your family the price has been paid by the blood of jesus i break every legal access by the blood of jesus i break every legal access by the blood of jesus i break every legal access by the blood of jesus i release marriages i release miracles i command breakthrough Makatete deliver fire is burning i command breakthrough i set those altars on fire i set those covens on fire hallelujah lift your hands where are those who have been oppressed academically lord where are they there are people who would have moved forward 
as I speak right now, fire is coming on people. Fire is coming. Release the academics now. Release the academics now. Release the academics now. 2015, the year of the rain. Release the academics now. I command those powers. I challenge them. They must leave now. There is a family the Lord is showing me. You have been under stagnation for 10 years. 10 solid years. But as I prophesy right now, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I command that family to be released now. I command that family to be released now. I command that family to be released now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name that is above all names, I pray and I prophesy. The Lord is showing me men whose hands have been tied. And, and see, when your hands are tied, it means the capacity for favor and the capacity to move forward is not there. Lift your hands. Some of you will feel physical fire. Physical fire on your hands. There are chains burning. Lord, where are they? Let the sword of favor break them free from every oppression. Right now as I speak, anyone whose hands are tied in the spirit, I command those hands to be loose now. I command those hands to be loose now. The fire is falling, falling, falling inside and outside. Falling, I break the chain. My goodness, there are angels outside. The fire is falling. Chains of delay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In one minute, lift up the exact situation you want God to change. Begin to talk to Him. Go ahead before prophecy comes. Please don't keep quiet. No matter how impossible it is, there is an anointing. Inside and outside, make sure you are talking to the Lord. This and that and that are my requests. Do a miracle. Some of you need a 24-hour miracle. Now, all those here in front, in the name of Jesus, and by the fire of the Holy Spirit, at the count of three, not only will those devils leave, they must release your family members. I speak to every spirit. You know my voice. I represent the embassy of heaven. And in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, you will leave now. One, two, three. Go, go, go. Go, go. Go, go. Never to return. Never to return. Never to return. Never to return. Go. Go. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands towards this request. Your requests are there. Please, in case you've not dropped yours, locate it quickly to the ushers. It's not a ritual. There is a mystery of answered prayer. Hallelujah. The Bible says how that Ezekiah took the request before God. The threats may be joblessness. It may be impossible situations. As I kneel upon this request and we pray together, just for one or two minutes see i assure you i assure you you will return with a testimony 
except you refuse to come and testify stretch your hands and begin to pray thank you jesus Remember last week we thought that words activate spiritual laws. Hallelujah. I want you to receive. For some of you, there will be an instant performance in the name of Jesus. I want to start by praying for families. Every family that has been in a state of stagnation, please lift your hands inside and outside. I'm prophesying now. Every family represented in this place in the name of jesus christ in this year of the rain i command that between now and next month miracle service let there be dramatic breakthroughs let there be dramatic breakthroughs let there be dramatic breakthroughs By the agency of the spirit we activate every law that needs to be in motion in the name of jesus the laws of favor the laws of destiny help us in the name of jesus i pray anyone here who has been under any academic bondage from secondary school to master's phd right now in this year of the rain i command speed for you i declare move forward now move forward now make progress now move forward now in the name of jesus i pray for anything that has died in your hands business the works of your hands relationships in the name that is above all names let resurrection happen in your life now please believe what i'm saying believe what i'm saying god is changing people's situations this is how god changes situations by the power of his prophetic word i say it again whatever has died I speak to that which was dead. Come back to life now. I command every blood condition, whoever is standing here and you are SS, right now, we change that genotype to AA. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
I cause hepatitis be crushed to the root in the name of Jesus. We cause HIV. You leave God's people in the name of Jesus. Everyone here who has been oppressed by spirits, you sleep in the night and they oppress you. Reketeke poto shupatala makata. In the name of Jesus, let the fire of the Holy Ghost bring deliverance to you now. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit bring deliverance to you now. There are people here, it works for others until it gets to your turn. Then it fails right now in the name of Jesus. I command that the last time that tragedy happened in your life the power of God is moving on this world moving strong on this world the last time it happened the mystery behind that tragedy I cause it in the name of Jesus I declare that in this January between now and next month's miracle service what you could not do in the whole of 2014 may my god empower your hand to do it in the name of jesus christ i pray for every dying cgpa here hear the word of the lord in the name of jesus i command it to come alive There are people here, students, your true status is first class. But something has tied you down. Your true status is four points. But something has tied, whatever that something is, I lift it off your life now. In this year, 2015, go back to your departments and break barriers. In the name of Jesus. I pray for every business here whatever has stopped it from working in the name of Jesus we command it to come alive now whoever needs to come into your life between now and next miracle service and open a door for you I call them forth now I call them forth now I declare Whoever is jobless and looking for a job here, or your family members, in the name that is above all names, where they say there are no jobs, we create jobs now. Believe it, believe it, we create jobs now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whoever has been assigned by my father to favor you, and has refused to respond to you, in the name of Jesus, May the Lord compel them to respond. In the name of Jesus. I pray for your spiritual life. Whatever has robbed you of an effective prayer life. Every worry, everything that has robbed you. I command fresh impartation of prayer grace. Receive it now. Fresh impartation of prayer fire whatever makes you study the bible and you don't understand may the spirit of wisdom come upon you right now and i pray for you every habit in your life masturbation pornography and any other thing that is not of god that has robbed you of your christian integrity you love God but you find things pushing you that embarrass you right now I agree with you be delivered now I agree with you be delivered now hallelujah whoever is being eyed for death in this place that the devil has vowed that you will not see February miracle service I'm praying by the mystery of the blood i open that door of gate of, of death and i command in the name of jesus that your soul is ransomed from the gates of death 
in the forthcoming election you are preserved in the name of jesus whoever comes to destroy you will die before he gets to you in the name of jesus as you travel on the road you are preserved you cannot be a victim of accident in the name of jesus i establish the covenant of peace upon your life you are protected by the angels of heaven i declare right now that in 2015 living from hand to mouth that spirit of begging living from hand to mouth by the mystery of divine supply i bail you out of that wicked situation in the name of jesus i pray for you whatever you wrote here as a request right now i agree with you that it is turned into a testimony i say it one more time whatever you wrote here as a request i agree with you we turn it into a testimony by the power that turned the rod of moses into a serpent and back into a rod i turn what was here as a tell as a prayer request by the power of the holy ghost let it become a testimony in your hands in the name of jesus every factor that must be in place for you to stand here and testify i release it in the name of jesus i pray we pray for our lecturers every lecturer that has been victimized and any lecturer that the devil is eyeing to bury this year in the name of jesus by the mystery of the blood they are preserved i'm speaking any position that belongs to any god-fearing lecturer that is being truncated by powers of darkness we stand as the parliament of heaven in this city and we enforce compliance in the name of jesus christ and i pray for you if there is one thing that should happen in your life let it be indescribable favor 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 i prophesy it from the depths of my heart if you have never seen favor happen in your life you will see favor that will make you cry financial favor marital favor academic favor spiritual favor receive it in the name of jesus hallelujah lift your hands and bless the lord thank you jesus hallelujah now you're here you've never given your heart to the lord jesus you've never made him lord of your life we're out of time please keep standing everybody let's honor these people you are here and you have never given your life to christ remember we said the basis for your victory is what jesus christ has done wherever you are or you have once given your life to christ but for some reason you found your life going haywire and you need to make your ways right don't say time is gone please wherever you are inside or outside you might be a new student you've been a christian all your life or you may be new in this town i pray right now that you respond to the call of god wherever you are you are returning to jesus or you are making decisions for the first time please make your way to the front be bold about it be bold about it i know god is talking to somebody don't wait for anybody to come you are the first person find your way to the front god bless you god bless you please make sure you celebrate them as they come celebrate them god bless you those outside no matter how far you are make your way to the front jesus said if you are ashamed of me before men i will be ashamed of you before my father if you deny me before men young and old make your way you are not too far don't let the devil say you are far make your way run to the front run to the front forget about your neighbor or who you came with it's a personal affair tonight hallelujah thank you so much for coming lift your hands as i leave you to pray say after me jesus i believe in you i believe you died for me tonight i repent of my sins 
I obtain forgiveness and cleansing. Wash me with the blood of Jesus. I receive eternal life into my spirit. And I declare that I'm a changed person. The power of sin is broken over my life. And I'll never be the same. In the name of Jesus. Now keep your hands lifted. Father, thank you. You brought these ones to your throne. May their decisions be genuine. Preserve them by the power of the Holy Spirit. They will never be the same. I break the power of sin over your life. You have eternal life into your spirit. And I declare that you are of the family of faith. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Now I'd like you to follow. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain